Okay, so they're about to come back. I'm just going to make a prediction. One of them will say something about Trump being the House of Representatives um, running for it or people supporting him to do it. So bide my, bide my psychic powers here. We'd be recording. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. Hi, Karen. Hi, Caspian and Jamie. Or Jamie and Hi. Jamie. Oops, wrong one. Deborah, Deborah will be here about 7.15, she says. Peggy Karen. said that she's, she's got house guests and she can't make it. And I said, I told, <laughs> I told her, I said, good, you won't be killing anybody this week. <laughs> yeah. She said, she said, oh, good, the pressure's off. <laughs> yeah. did, did did anybody mention um, uh, who, 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 me and now it signed me out again and i have to sign in what are you talking oh. about jamie uh, faith has got to be signed in and out yeah i can't get in, my in and out she has to sign in again i'm trying to sorry i'm trying to sign into my google drive on my kindle fire and it authenticates and then it signs me out and tells me to input my password again and it's signed like four times I just want to fucking crochet. Oh, in on your on your eye. I'm pulling the pattern up on here. Did everybody good. else get the national alert yesterday, by the way? Yeah. Yep. 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 And it didn't yeah. turn me into a zombie. Pooped me out. I didn't know I was I, I got lots zombie. of warnings that it was coming. It was one so. of those times I was in the garage working um, and I flipped a switch on the electrical panel and immediately that went off. Oh, <laughs> oh. That <was> <laughs> That's scary. Well, we know, Rob, it was just that you're a zombie now. I didn't know. Caspian told me yesterday. And I said, you know what? I'd heard about the alerts, but I didn't know that I was supposed so to. So you, you did not get one? No, I got an alert, but I didn't know that I was supposed to turn into a zombie. I didn't hear that till everybody started to themselves that. safe on Facebook. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. And they that. did it once during the previous it's administration, the but my phone did not make a noise. I just got a notification like on the front face of my iphone which i uh -huh. i don't normally do uh -huh. i didn't even read it i just made it disappear and then later i thought oh that's what that was uh -huh. that's funny because i turned my i turned all my sound off and my my notifications off to try to avoid hearing the alert when it came through but it still came through it, it'll come through yeah. still yeah supposed to. i have yeah. an yeah. iphone mm -hmm. 6 I, you know, I do not even have sound. I don't care anybody with anything uh, less, <laughs> less than a seven. Hey, so hey, hey. I didn't think of this, but one of the groups I was on pointed out that, for example, if you were a woman who kept a separate yeah. phone for safety or something, or, and you or, didn't want somebody else in the house to know that. You need to turn it off before yeah. the or or you're keeping a separate phone because you've got something on the side and you don't want somebody to mm. well that that might be a reason too That's but it's just... serious for mm. all or the, so you, women. this always happens in movies where someone's sneaking around in the house or whatever and then the phone goes off because someone calls them just at that time see that could that could screw them right there no, but what Janine is saying is very, very serious. I mean, that's yes, a big step for some people who are facing abuse to be yeah. able to be convinced to even possess such a phone just in case. Yeah. And that can really set them back. Hopefully they yeah. need to turn their phone off. So, hey, is Kat, is Kat coming today, Adrian? Oh, I should text her. Maybe she's forgotten. How could you forget? <laughs> I think she has a brain like mine. Oh. Can I? I think it's better than mine, but anyway. Yes, Vincent. Is it okay to just give a shout out to uh, Carl and Ben? Of course. And, and Susan, just thank you for like your concern. Oh, checking in on uh, you. It was it was really sweet. Oh, thank you. And that's why I'm here. Oh, tonight. good. I hear you right. guys had coffee yesterday or you, day before. Yes. Or... Yeah. Uh, you. I want to go have coffee. And you were aware of why I left, right? Uh, I think so. <clears throat> okay. I tell you now, but I just know what Adrian told me yesterday or day before. Yeah. 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 I was going to say good to see you, Vincent, but then. Oh, thank you. Good to see you, Jim. Unfortunately, <laughs> 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 uh, Ben is bogged down with work, work stuff. We're right missed, now. Vincent. Oh. Is, Especially is the dad jokes. I think we mentioned that a couple of times. I saw a we book need, of dad, dad jokes, jokes and I said, I should get those. And I said, no, I shouldn't. 
<laughs> they should definitely not get mm. those. We're, we nice. went dancing last weekend. They had, uh, I don't know, oh, there was a dinosaur walk, which was weird. They set it up in the woods next to the building. And inside the building were there were fossils, which was cool. And then they had dinosaur jokes. And it was like, I think it was a 12, maybe 16, four by four of pictures of dinosaurs with why does a triceratops cross the road or why do what's in the middle of it that and every <laughs> single answer was a dad joke every single freaking answer huh? why well, well, why are they called dad jokes they're puns uh, shaggy well, dog stories uh, uh, because it's a stereotype that it's mostly dads that tell them and in our family the stereotype is true <laughs> by, an by anecdotal in evidence house, alone it is true dad doesn't even catch them <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, all right, in, our all house, right, in our house with six of us they came from all directions uh -huh. I bet. <laughs> okay so we're ready i want him dying to hear if you guys had anything that happened in the news i mean because i mm, as, as always it's just the most boring thing all. in the world Susan, and... i've got a problem yeah i'm, here. Supposed, to, I'm supposed to be doing a, a quiz tonight i've got the quiz all together mm -hmm. But I don't have a method of displaying the questions to the group. What do you I, mean? I have not been able to transfer the data from uh, one area to a place where it's usable. Is it on a Word document? It's in an Excel document. Okay. I cut uh, and paste from a Word doc, uh, Excel document. Excel? Yeah, I, I, I use Google Docs and I copy and paste all the time. Yeah, well, it, what, my, my my computer is not working the way it's supposed to. I, I want to send everybody. Let's all join hands. So, I've been, so if you I've just, been trying all afternoon to get this to work, and it just uh, uh, just so doesn't like e it. email the questions and then with the, without the answers to one of us, and we can do it as you talk. Yeah, we'll just paste them in. We'll. See what I can do. You can send it to me, Susan Gerbeck at yahoo.com or <clears throat> I'll take care of it. I won't even read them ahead of time. I'm very good at ignoring that. Um, or if they're short, short, we could type them as you say them. Yeah, where's oh. Ben? He's the he's a fast typer. Oh, yeah. Uh, Romero is a very fast done with typer. Work and probably won't make it. Oh, uh, Romero uh, and Ben uh, are uh, like. Uh, I've got some words that are not to not standard english words so uh oh that's okay we'll figure it out <laughs> i'll be fine uh, i use the orc screen oh it they, uh, romero's got some fancy dancy ocr thing it just takes a picture and then it converts it, it to text. converts the text to the yeah I, that's a that's a standard feature on the iphone camera now i had somebody do that with line. my uh l article Somebody uh, sent it to me, and I and I said, "Oh, thanks. I didn't know why I needed it." And then somebody asked, "Can I read your article?" And I want to read it. And I said, "Oh, hey, somebody just sent me this this text document of of the article, and it came out beautiful. I mean, it was like mm -hmm. added nice and everything." Does it work? So, on Ke so has Kevin one moved to? Yeah, one. So, <laughs> so has Kevin moved to Australia? I don't. I can't figure out why it's upside down. Because you're laying down upside down, Kevin. Quit. No, I'm not. <laughs> Wendy will help you. Wendy? <laughs> what? No, God, don't volunteer me. Turn she had it around. happen with it. It was just her ceiling fan one day. Remember that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> but no, 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 no. Don't, don't volunteer you can't me. can't rotate on your, um, on your, on your, uh, let's see, where is it? You're two hits. Oh, I got it. Okay. He One, it. two, three, four. That's cool. I didn't know it was there. <clears throat> I clicked okay. it by accident. Uh, Kevin, did you know that I watched Colbert last night? Apparently, hey. Kevin McCarthy was uh, removed from the speaker position on National Kevin Day. I saw that. <laughs> okay. I saw that. Wait, did you know there's a National Kevin Day? I didn't know there was. <laughs> now, now that, Why that is, is very Kevin cool. Day. Oh Why? man, I didn't even buy you a Kevin gift. Ugh. We Why? only get the Why? top three, 365 names. Huh? Yeah, like I doubt that I make it. I what? already did two categories on Kevin, so <laughs> I, I should have submitted it to a contest or something. Okay, so I made a prediction. 
before you guys got on here it's it's i recorded it so it's there so i'm curious if um my prediction will come true and you will be able to double check it i just am wondering so here we go cindy gale jamie and vincent mccarthy is replaced with alexa she's a speaker who could run the house oh. <laughs> that's really good oh that's, that's nice. wonderful that really good okay brandy Rob, Ron, and Karen. Vote Mortimer Snared to replace McCarthy for speaker. There's a dummy we can get behind. <laughs> yes. One dummy Mortimer for another. Snared. Oh, Mortimer Snared. Is that one of those ventriloquist dummies? Yes. Charlie McCarthy's partner, Char apparently. Charlie McCarthy's partner, Edgar Bergen. <laughs> Mortimer, that's great. That's really good. Okay. He was the okay. dumb one. The big <laughs> oh, 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 Kevin goofy. McCarthy. Yep. Uh, Carolyn, <laughs> Faith, Romero, Jim. Okay, so we were having a hard time coming up with a name, and we were talking about Psycon, so here we go. We're going to the desert. We're going to the desert. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's good. It looks good in the rain or something like that. Okay. Jamie, Caspian, Janine, Lee, and Bill. Can we get Bill? You're gonna get Bill. Oh, cool. Um, GOP lesson: turning the base to <laughs> turning the base up too high blows out your speaker. That is Ooh. awesome. Sorry, that's good. I like. That. And it that's should really say good. turning the base up too high blows mm -hmm. out. Turning the base up too high. Okay. <laughs> base up. <laughs> Here comes Cat. Ooh, doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. Oh, I'm excited that we get Bill. <laughs> okay, so we're she was maybe. Gonna <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put. Um, I'm I want to arm wrestle for Cat. <laughs> no, she's gonna go. I'll arm here. wrestle. I'll arm <laughs> wrestle you. No, she's going on. She's going on the first room. So she's yeah, going to Miguel, to Jamie, and Vincent, and Cat. Okay, uh, Adrian, Jane, Carl, Wendy, and Kevin. So we are Commander relocated from Washington to a safe location with Ninja Cat, a.k.a. Oh. under Carl's carpet. Oh, Ninja. <laughs> Who's Commander? Biden's, Biden's dog. dog. Biden's dog. Oh. He's been for oh. the 11th time. Gosh, what the uh -huh. heck is going on with that dog? They should keep it with a muscle on it. But, but you know what? The other dog, um, Major... Isn't at the White House either. Yeah. Didn't he die? So, yeah, Major and Commander are at the far side of the world now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. They're going to go to, the up, up, they need they're gonna go to a farm in upstate one. New York pretty soon. They can mm -hmm. run and play and be happy with all the mm -hmm. other dogs. On the Rainbow Bridge. Ooh. So my prediction did not come true. Oh, what was you, what was the prediction? I missed I thought that. somebody would name their team something about uh, Trump being the new speaker of the house. Uh, that's that's kind of like that's kind of hard story. We, we are trying things. not to think of that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he would have to do some work, so yeah. 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 Can't lift that gavel; it's too heavy. He'd I have to this. have more than three hundred words in his vocabulary and be able to lift a gavel that's heavier than a glass of water. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh, 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 oh! He don't lift two hands. <laughs> and well, anyway, stand. That was my prediction. Nobody and, nobody and stand for a few minutes. Hmm. Diet Coke. He'd be like hammering it. Diet Coke. Diet Coke. Okay. All right. So let's get started. We have a and great game. Nobody, right? nobody picked a name to mention the passing of one of the greatest punchline names in history. Dick Butkus. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Died when, when did he die? I missed that. He oh, died yeah. today. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I, oh, that. I don't know who he is. Football player. Oh, God, football name. player. Oh, I did oh. think he died. Is he she 80? Chicago Bears. Bears. The age of 80. Dub Bears. Yep. Something Dub like Bears. I knew there was zero at the end of it. All right. So we have tonight Gail, Rob, Romero, Bill, and the bonus is Carl. Am I correct? Hi, Cat. Yep. Cat is going on the first team. They were arguing <clears throat> for you, Cat. They were going to arm wrestle. So, what, what team am I on? You are on four. Team, four. Which okay. is, um, With us, Bill. G 
GOP Sorry, loves to praise the bass of too high. Blows out your speaker. Yeah, that's all right. It's all right. Deborah still isn't here yet. So, I mean, it happens. Um, so, we're ready. This is going to be game number 183, season four. And today is the 5th of October, 2023, in the year of our Lord. In our Lord. <laughs> um, the common era. And we're going to start off with Gail, who's going to be, I think, amazing Speaker of the House. And she's already got her own gavel. <laughs> now, I, I told you. And she knows how to use it. I'm not, I don't have it there anymore, don't you see? Oh, yeah. That was left over from the parliamentary uh, procedure. But you uh, could I have one. It. I know you got one in your house somewhere. You oh, yes. Yeah. There's always one in my house, or two or five. It's always... <laughs> <laughs> I, I have one actually. Of water right next to me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So are we ready? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Our first topic will be this is Banned Books Week. Ooh, yeah. awesome. Yay. Miniature. So Banned Books Week for 2023. Do we do is someone muting everyone or oh I was gonna ask who hasn't done it? They can be while? trusted. Yeah, well, yeah. who hasn't done it in a while? Lee did it last week. Who hasn't? I can do it. Okay, Adrian. Yeah. Uh, there you go, Adrian. So, so this week Thanks. there should there, there should have been mus uh musical organizations having concerts of band music. Yes. I'm not gonna. No, no, we're not doing that. That's awful. All right. That's awful. Mm -hmm. What is it with Canadians and bad jokes? Are you a dad, that. Jim? <laughs> not even getting the jokes. Dad. Yeah. Oh, no idea. Ready? All Are right. Ready? Not... Three, two, one, mute. Don't forget to unmute yourself, Gail. Yep. Okay. The first question. The American Library Association announced the theme for this year's band books this week from October 1st to 7th, so right in the middle of it. What is that theme? Question two. The Radcliffe Publishing Course Top 100 Novels of the 20th Century's Top 10 Most Frequently Challenged Books. Each has been used by the ALA, that's the American Library Association, right, to make the list since 2001. What author of young adult novels has been on this list the most often? Question three. The ALA has appointed the very first actor to be the honorary head of Band Books this week. Who is it? And the next one, I don't want to confuse you, but there's two questions in one question. So this is question four and question five, because it does require two answers. Which Two of the following does not appear on the list of most commonly banned books in the USA, according to Wikipedia. And here is the list from which you choose the two. Oh, sorry, I didn't, just didn't put that in. Here's the list of books to choose the two. And you do need, to, you don't need, to, which one is four and five, you do not have to identify, but you do need to identify the two on that list. In other words, one is going to be question four and one is going to be question five, but it doesn't matter which one is which. Okay. There's just two of them there. And I will give you one hint. It says in the USA. Sorry, Canadians. Wow, wow, wow. And that's question six. I didn't copy that in. So question six. The Harry Potter series has faced opposition from parents and school boards on both sides of the Atlantic. The reasons given are portrayals of death, evil, hatred, and what else?
question seven. Among the seemingly innocuous books that have been banned for political reasons was Black Beauty by Anne Sewell. That is just the story of a horse in 19th century England, but it was banned in South Africa for a time. Why? Bray, a school board in Virginia has banned a study in Scarlet that was Sir Arthur Conan Boyle's first book. Why? Oh. Question nine. Anne Frank, The Diary of a Young Girl, was not included in the Wikipedia list. But the Alabama State Textbook Committee challenged it. Why? What was their reason? And finally, question 10. And Tango Makes Three by Peter Parnell and Justin Richardson is a children's book that tells the true story of penguins in a New York City zoo. Why is it on many lists all over the country? This is a good category. I'm going to learn a lot on this, Gail. This is going to have some yeah, really interesting, Gail. Really yeah, interesting. Very. I don't know the answers to a lot of them, but really interesting. And I should I should mention I read a Washington Post article. I think it was Washington Post last night, and they were talking about the these aren't that we were we were talking about banned books, but really he says they're not really the banned books we should be allowing all books like you know mind comp and all these other things and, and, <laughs> and he says there's a lot of books that are banned that should be on be allowed but we're not talking about them and i was like all right dude come on <laughs> as soon as you find out why some of these books have been banned that'll underline that yeah mm -hmm. probably will okay so yeah or adrian you want to send everybody oh, through send everyone I'm going to turn on lights. It's too dark in here. I got to put Kat and Bill in the rooms. Kat, you were in one. Bill, you were in four. That was easy. Lord, you have your powers, Gail. Well, everybody should know number seven. Yeah, I only know number seven. I think it's raining. And number seven is, um, it's because the, is in South Africa, the letters are black and the pages are white and you can't have black and white on the same page. Really? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, that's well, no, everybody knows what number 10 should be, right? I know oh. 10, yeah. No, okay. It's like and I think I know six. Penguins. Pen penguins are gay. Yeah, or they're in love. They're out like a couple. Yeah, a but they're couple. same gender. That's uh -huh. why it's, it's an two issue. male. Yeah, two male. <clears throat> yeah, the penguins are gay. Okay, I know some of these. What have you guys already got? Let's see. Okay, uh, number one. What is number one? What's the theme? I don't know. I'm not American. <laughs> I, isn't it Sorry, about, guys, I'm failing you. Isn't it uh, um, racial, like, you know, um, it's not LGBTQ. It's um, like racial, you know, races, race, racism, I think. Isn't that what it is? Doesn't it sound right? You know, books about race, 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 and don't look at me like I'm silly. <laughs> yeah, look at you. you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, down. so I think that's what it is. It could be LGBTQ, but I think it might be um, race. I, well, what, racism and it's in a general. Which, uh, which number are you on? Sorry. One. One. Number one. One. What the theme is. Okay, and now number two, um. what is the author of young adult novels has been on the list most often? Probably Beverly Clearly. Oh, I, I was Robin thinking Robin. Judy Bloom, but you're probably right. One of those really? two. Yeah. Oh, I thought I mean, they're God, it's me, Margaret. Oh my gosh, that was 
and she had um pathetic it was one of those two judy bloom is a good what was judy bloom's book well are you there god it's me margaret it was one of many that wasn't judy isn't bloom that did. um beverly clearly in no you which one wrote are you there god it's me margaret isn't that beverly clearly judy, no, bloom. judy bloom that is judy bloom, it's judy, judy, bloom. bloom. judy bloom yeah but, okay, how many, but how many books did judy bloom write because it says most often i think there's she um, wrote a lot at yeah at least half a dozen probably a dozen yeah she wrote mm -hmm. quite a few. i think it's judy bloom not beverly clearly the only book i know that is on this band book list because we don't do that up here for the most part um is charlotte's web <laughs> but Actually, i can't think of that author. they have have you read in the news lately they have no, what... in calgary oh. yeah a lot of band books lots seriously Seriously. Hey, you, you got to be my stick in province. That. You've got some <laughs> nutcases over there too, so you know. Oh, we, oh, we yeah. have more than our fair Lots share. of banned books. They, uh, the mm. li the school libraries barely have any books in them. What a disgusting. Okay, Man, so number that. number three is Lamar here. Burton from Star Trek. Really? Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah. You've seen them all over the place so. talking about banned books on the news. I haven't watched them, but okay. Which okay. of the two do not appear on the list of most commonly bad bo banned books? Uh, I I, I made a guess at that. <laughs> I made a guess that it's Velveteen Rabbit. And maybe I guess ordinary that too. people. <laughs> and maybe ordinary people, because I remember I was in college and I think we had to read that in an English class. Plus, they made a movie out of it, and I didn't hear anything controversial about it. Hmm. Okay, I'm okay. gonna go with I'm gonna go with something wild out there. I bet you the Fahrenheit Fahrenheit four five one is not on the list. That's too obvious. I thought 1984 would not be on the list. Yeah, but you know these people who like to ban books are really weird. I mean, well, that's why I think that it wouldn't be on there. I mean, there's got to be something about those books they don't like. And Velveteen Rabbit and Fahrenheit 451 are my votes. What do you guys... What could be wrong with Velveteen Rabbit? No, but it's not on a banned list. It never was banned. Are you okay. kidding me? You obviously did not see the movie as a young child like I did. Velveteen Rabbit? Oh, wait. No, I'm thinking Watership Down. Oh, that's... No, that I'm working was, on ooh, three that's hours violent. I read that book many times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's scary. Uh, that's horrible okay so how are we going to choose as karen would say well three of us think velveteen rabbit so i think okay, that's one of that. ours okay velveteen rabbit and then i was thinking 1984 is the other one i'm fine with ordinary people as well i'm fine with anything really <clears throat> jamie vincent what are your votes yeah that's fine cindy uh, that's fine vincent? Ordin I ordinary people is fine yeah, we could still go with the ordinary people. Okay. Because you know, these banned book people, they would ban 1984 because it actually talks about people like them. Well, I'm just still saying. <laughs> yeah. and so Fahrenheit 451. And so does Fahrenheit 451. It's about people like them. They wouldn't like those books. I think they would. I think they would just, I don't know. I think that's why it's on the list. I think Adrian put it on the list. So that, that was basically stop my guess. talking stop talking i came to the wrong room i was trying to put kevin in here and mm -hmm. i must have hit the button for me to go here boy i'm zoning out <laughs> stop talking all right Bye. you know we dropped us like back. a hot potato sorry you guys i tried to move oh, yeah. to his room and i must have hit the wrong button and i went to his room huh. oh <laughs> i disappeared sorry so what okay, number doing? seven Okay, um, the Harry Potter. That was Black series. Beauty. I have no idea. Harry Potter's series is witchcraft. Yeah, good. Okay, good. You got it. Okay, so South Africa, and it must have been that there were. Um, it's all apart. It's racial. Uh, Horses can't be black. No, no. <laughs> probably has something to do with. Um, um, Who, whoever owned Black Beauty in England, maybe. Maybe they were a slave owner or something. I or no that they, that showed that black people and white people were getting along or something, and 
working compatible in, in compared, you know, in good close quarters and there wasn't any problem and they didn't want that scene? Oh, no, it's because they called the horse Black what? Beauty. No. Because, the yes, it, it was a racism thing. They they said that black couldn't be beautiful. Vincent, do you I know this is true, or are you just speculating that is no, true? No, I I I think I heard it somewhere, but okay. don't don't quote me on We're it. We're gonna trust but... you on that. Thing. Okay, black, I did put black beauty. black beauty in quotes with a question mark because that was sort of what I was thinking, but I'm like, it can't be that, can it? It can't be that obvious. Okay, there, there doesn't make any sense beautiful. any of this, so who knows? I don't know. Okay, the MP one of many books don't make sense. I never heard of this. And we and we were gonna move to Cape Town. We had planned. <laughs> oh, study in Scarlet? Okay, so study in Scarlet, is it the one with the Mormons? Or is yeah, this is the one with the Mormons, right? Study in Scarlet. Oh, oh so did we write down for number seven? Yeah, the black oh you're gonna say. Oh yeah. Does it like, take for me to put that? What I what yeah. I had said? Yeah, because nobody yes. else knows, and you said oh, you okay. saw it somewhere. So yeah. no pressure or anything, but that's yeah. that's the answer. So number eight, study in Scarlet was very violent, and it had to do with the Mormons in the eighteen hundreds or whatever era it was coming when they were going through, and there was women who were being uh, forced to marry uh, into the into the Mormon thing, and they had polygamy and all that kind of stuff. So I bet you that's it. Because of polygamy and Mormonism and stuff. It's very violent, too. I'll take your word for it. Okay. Um, and Frank. Because of the Nazis? Or because she was kissing she boy? Was Jewish. She was Jewish. Well, maybe because she expressed sexuality, I think. That she had may have been, oh. I think she has her period. Sexuality. She has her period. Yeah, she's a, like a 13 year old girl. So, of course, she's going to be expressing yeah. that. The, um, I think it's, I think it's menstruation. Sexuality. I'm, I'm, I'm saying menstruation. But slash menstruation, talking about menstruation. Oh, yeah. Sexuality okay. and menstruation Men is not the same thing. Because she's a girl. Yeah, because well, that, that, right? well, that means that you're sexually ready to have children. Your your body is um, able to fertilize an egg. What was what was the answer for number eight? Uh, that the uh, uh, polygamy and violence Mormonism. around the Mormon Church. Yeah. Jeez. So she's Gail's going to get more than just like a one word answer on these things. It's going to be, and we got ten was penguins. We're gay. God, I can't yeah. believe I'm saying that. Not that well, people so be the, the same US sex. Are, they're portrayed. They, as gay. They're it's the same sex couple. The same. Uh huh. They're yeah. gay. Here, I'll be right back. Okay. So, in the U.S., all these books being banned are they banned from libraries or do bookstores? Do they ban it from bookstores also? They're trying to they ban, ban them from bookstores. regular libraries. They they're banning them from school libraries, and actually, they've been successful. Yes, they're trying yes. to ban them from from adult libraries. That it's a regular libraries that are open to adults and children. They're trying to get them banned there now. Yes, I don't yes. know these particular books, but they're just trying to get books banned. Yeah. So I haven't been in the states now, and it's going on seven years, and I don't remember any of this from seven years ago and before. I never heard of it. It's disgusting. It's a. It's yeah, a they, they are. It's, 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 I mean, it's Good. going downhill. God, the country has changed in the last seven years. It's pathetic. The more I hear about it's it. It's gone it's just... back about 60, 70 years. Oh, my God. What a, yeah, what a further difference. Than as far as civil rights and everything else goes. Yeah. Well, we just, we just had some friends who went back to the States on a trip. We live in Thailand. They went back. They hated it. After They were going to stay for three weeks. After about four or five days, they couldn't take it. They said they can't take there was a shooting a couple houses away from them, which doesn't happen you know, here. So they got fed up with that. And they couldn't understand all the, um, the medicine advertisements on TV. They couldn't, they've never seen anything like that before. Uh, were the pharmaceutical companies advertised their new medicines? 
Yeah, it's only it's a U.S. thing. People can understand. They said it's just it's just bizarre. But after a few days, they said the whole atmosphere they couldn't take it, so they came back. They canceled wow. their vacation. Well, I I I don't have regular TV anymore. I stream. It's some of the streaming service I have to get it. I'm a cheap cheap price. They show some commercials, but I have not seen a commercial since I stopped record TV. That's about the new medications that pharmaceutical companies are pushing. So yeah. that's not on the streaming services. That's just still regular TV. Yeah, well, we get we have Paramount, and when my wife watches Paramount Live, yeah, it's all these stupid ads on drugs. We couldn't believe it. Like, oh wow! Yeah, it's yeah I don't bad. have per I have Hulu, the cheap service, or the cheap version where you get commercials. Yeah, but they haven't oh. done anything on film percentiles. Oh, except for Hems, which Hems on hers, which is silly. Yeah, it's pathetic. That's just Did oh my god! The timer? The no, I'm wondering why she hasn't done the timer. Oh uh, yeah. No. Yeah, maybe you need to check in a reminder. Huh. I'll bring I'll bring Gail back into the room. Oops. Oh, she's on her way. Ha ha, there she is. We were just saying, Gail, that um we should be closing the rooms now. <clears throat> that's why I came back to this one. I've been to all of them, and that looks like that's the case. Okay, yep. good. I just hit it right now. Okay. That was a really oh, here comes Deborah. She can sit in the I'm gonna go in the front so that she doesn't buy herself over there. Okay. Yeah, awesome. yeah. yeah, it's a very good category, but I'm just I'm depressed by hearing what's happening in the state. Yeah, States. it's really good category. Good, good, good. I'm just depressed. Yeah, she's yeah. There she is. Yeah. Back good to evening. By yourself, Deborah. What's that? We came back so you wouldn't be by yourself because oh thank you we're just closing the rooms right now so okay. they're gonna start fighting over you ha! if only they knew <laughs> well it's a really good category her category was uh banned books banned books oh cool book. i'll put the questions in the and your give them to you in chat so you can look at them and see okay see if i see if i would have known any of them well she's gonna read them off anyway so it might be it'll just make it easier for you to have them. Okay, here's some. And then here's the second part of four. Four and five are um, one question, but anyway, there's not a question uh -huh. four and five. It's just four and five are together. And Gail did them. Really good. Yeah, I figured, I figured that. She's still sitting here. <laughs> it was, that was, you know, banned books. Oh, look at that. Wow. Where's a kitty cat? I don't see a cat. Oh, what kind of a, hat, a broom is that? I don't know if you could have have books without cats. Is that possible? I don't, I don't seem to be able to do that. <laughs> I managed to do that very easily, which is why you haven't seen any of our three cats. Because when I go to the office and the the television's in the next room, I have to close the door so you can't all don't listen to the, my television. Oh, that everybody else is listening to. So the cats can't get in when I'm in, when I'm like into this group. How many people are in the other room? You got a household of people there. You said everybody. There's three of us, but the television is right in the room connected oh. to my office. Yeah, we never hear it. As and far as we know, you're watching is just that it's room news right television there. time. CNN, CNN, um, MSNBC, MSNBC. I watch it all the time. All right, you guys. Great cat okay. questions, wasn't it, everybody? <laughs> that was really yeah, interesting. Fantastic. Yeah, okay, I was so, very, I was very impressed, folks, because I was listening to the conversations and I knew you were going to know stuff. But the logic behind some of the conversations, even when you were ended up being wrong, I know <laughs> I probably okay. talked people out of some of the questions. You know, I would not have been able to do this as well as all you did if I hadn't been researching it yesterday. Ooh. So here we go with the answers. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Um, I'll put them up. You, you're all seeing my screen, right? Yes. I'll yep. put them up here first and then I'll put them in the chat. Number one, Ooh. let freedom read. Oh. Randy, hey, I got that. The Randy got that. Hey, Faith. I thought I was thinking of it as a theme, like the theme. 
It is. That's the theme. That's the that's, that's, that's theme. Slogan. Paying to have English teachers is so what, what were you thinking? Yep. It was like the I theme thought it was all Wars. about, I thought it was supposed to be a theme focused on racism, like a <laughs> as a theme. Where I didn't think that? of it as a logo. It's not no, a logo. It's not a logo. The for it's, this the, year. it's the expression. Right? I know, but that's what I mean. I was thinking of it as, so yeah, you're right. It's more democracy would be the. Number two. Yeah. Thanks for not going with me. Would you say Rob? Yeah. Now, Harry Potter has a lot of books, but yeah, uh, I say J.K. Rowling. Yeah, that was oh. one I, people were saying. But Judy Bloom has many, many more books and has been mm -hmm. more they've been banned for more time. Are you there, God? It's me, Margaret. Was banned when I was LeVar Burton, and I heard Yay, many people do that. 40. He was remember the host of Reading Rainbow. Yep. Yeah. That's no, right. Him with I've forgotten eyes. that. Hmm. That's the only place I ever heard of him. Those are the two books oh, that, are, that have not Way been to go, in the U.S. All right. Oh. I think most of you got because Good Grief White. It was very hard when I was writing this to find books that I could say <laughs> were not banned. Mm -hmm. And that's why I ended up with The Velveteen Rabbit. And I figured that's going to be just too easy. And I gave you the hint about the United States because Dr. Zhivago was not banned in the United States, but it was banned in the Soviet Union. Oh, that mm -hmm. makes sense. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah that wow. makes sense. I can imagine. Yeah. Glad yeah, you guys didn't my answer. Okay. In fact, I that's was, why I put it there. I was I sort of guessing that Tom Sawyer was not banned because uh, uh, Huck Finn was banned so much. Yep. But they both <laughs> were because of the language. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I think you all got this one, at least that <clears> I heard. <throat> it's all the witchcraft yep. in, yep. in there. That, that causes it. And number seven, they use yep. the word black and beautiful. Oh, that, that one you yeah. should have listened to me, team. Yeah, we blew that. We talked to you out Vincent of it. Vincent got it. Vincent got it. I, oh, I, I got it. That's one of my well, favorite Will you words. accept that the title sort of sounded racist? Mm. The title doesn't sound racist. But they thought it did. They <laughs> thought it, that's why we're just black yeah. and beauty together. Yeah. Black things are beautiful. That's why yeah. we, that it sounded racist. Okay, that's... so okay, so we're uh, giving ourselves and it's, and it's and Ruth Brown, the person's name is Brown. And yeah. They... No, I didn't mm. mention that. Okay, I'm really from bad. a family of brown people. So so how did how did we write a team? What did we say for that? We wrote it down. We said a white black friendship, which oh. really isn't the same thing. No. no, no, unless you no. say the words are friends with each other. Yeah, <laughs> it wasn't about people; it was about the, the words. The words. Yeah, I think, I think Mary Black Legs was brown, and, and even the horse has a little together. white on it. It's like race mixing. Mm. We can't have that. <laughs> Number eight. Yes. What? Hey. Okay, yeah. go back. Yes. Mormons. Even Sherlock Holmes, because yeah. apparently religion is not. Mormons. It's not. It, it has state negative statements. And this is the actual quote that was most mentioned as the key reason mm -hmm. the for uh, stopping it. Invisibility in the mystery yes. which attached to it in the Mormon religion made this organization doubly mm -hmm. terrible. Mm -hmm. So there's a chapter <laughs> on spooky Mormon hell in there? Oh, it's, no, no, it's a huge, huge story about mm. the Mormons. It's awful. It's very ugly. Yeah. Oh, my but God. Is it, is it like the spooky Mormon hell? No, 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 no. Number, no. number it, from the Book of Mormon fact it's historical Mormon. outer darkness. It's really awful. I mean, it's very violent, very awful. It's I can't even read the book anymore. It's just <laughs> so violent yeah. and Optic Mormonism is very historical. Yeah. Very scary. Okay. And you nine. got that one right for us, Susan. So thank you. Number yeah. nine of, of all time. This is Oh my god, it was a downer. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What, that what was about we're talking about okay. sex? No, the, no, that's See, I wasn't. I wasn't the only one who said it would, be, it would be about sex. No, but as a downer, is, is the only reason why they want to ban it so nobody else can read it. Why is it banned? It's banned to school for school Holocaust people. deniers. Yeah. <laughs> no, they said wow. so children shouldn't be. And actually, if you've read the book, it's not a downer at all. Because she doesn't know awesome. she's going to die whenever she writes the book. She just spoiler she, alert. Well, she knew she I was going to die. <laughs> no, she she didn't know she was. Man, now you've ruined know. it. It's often used. Oh, she thought she was a monster. Positive book, right? I thought it was. So about she's menstruation. saying she's a vampire. She's going to live forever. <laughs> she looks kind of, you know. <laughs> and then finally, 
I think you all got this one. Okay. Yay. Anti-family. Oh my God. Penguins. Penguins in the zoo. But they were there was a depiction of a gay family with two male penguins. Oh my God! You can tell looking at them on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> That's the cover of the book. Wow. Yeah, and they How can you know that they're boy and boy or, or in boy? Well, in the story, you can tell. They're both wearing suits. Male no skirts. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> they but they have a sexy. but they have a child. I mean, come on. They, uh, they do have about. a child. They did adopt a child. They like this is a, this is actually based on real penguins. It's a zoo. <laughs> Yeah, from a zoo. So right? it, happens, it happens in the wild, Susan, because the moms, after they give birth to the chicks, go out to feed. And if they don't come back, because mm -hmm. they get That's eaten true. by a seal, like mm -hmm. you kind of need the gay penguins to come in and nurture the baby so it doesn't freeze to death. On well, that, so then who who goes, if only the females know how to go and fish, How what happens then? Where How do they get the food for the family? Uh, the males, the males, and the, the, the males and the females take turns uh, mm -hmm. uh, going to the sea to. Have, to, have you to, not watched March of the Penguins? Oh, I have yeah, that video. Not. It's amazing. Like, but, they but are Jim, really what, are my most favorite. What Jim just now. said is reverse of what you said. He said they take turns, and you said it's only one gender that does the fishing. So I'm confused. No, no, it's no, not. No. They give birth. The females leave to go feed, and if they, they don't, don't come back, if they don't come back, the male has been sitting there holding the egg on top of its feet so it doesn't touch the arctic ice and freeze mm. so what are they going to do when they need to go get food? they got to go find like another buddy to come help take care of it otherwise that that baby is not going to have a chance they should be smart like the ones that we saw in the galapagos because there are penguins and they're right on the equator they don't freaking have to be cold i don't know why they stay in <laughs> i think they should and get, penguins are get to the equator penguins. those are the ones that came on noah's ark <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, in the wild there are also lesbian couples taking yep. care of the chicks yep. okay. mm -hmm. that makes sense too Oh, that was a really good category. Let's do our scores here. Okay, so let's start with Commander relocated from Washington to a safe location with Ninja Cat. Eight, I believe. Eight. All right. GOP Whoa. lesson, turning the bass up too high blows out your speaker. <laughs> Seven. Ooh, all right. Keep in mind, everybody, that Deborah does not have a team yet. So... Mm. Just, just saying, if you guys are just like, I'm not sure, you go with a higher score, it might not be a wise move. You might talk <laughs> or it might be. <laughs> we're, okay, we're going to the desert on a horse with no name. Did we get six or seven, guys? Keeping we in mind seven. that Deborah is up for grabs. We, the highest we got score. seven. Seven? We got seven. Seven. Okay. Vote Mortimer Snurd to replace McCarthy for speaker. We seven. also got seven. Okay. McCarthy is replaced with Alexa. She's a speaker who can run the house. We got seven. Oh, you guys. Wow, amazing. Okay, so seven. what are we going to do with Deborah? Um, Split her four ways. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, who's got, the, who's got the less Who's got the I less people? I leave early, remember that. Yeah, less people. Carolyn less people. Early. I leave I'm early. Her, okay, I'm going to put her there because that's true. Yeah, poor. By the way, is Kevin tied to those railway tracks? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Deborah, you were on the team called We're Going to the Desert on a Horse with No Name. I was hoping you'd say that. Okay, we are going to the desert, but I'm not going I know, to we are. Going on a plane. Fantastic. Good job, Gail. Wonderful. That was a great category. That really was yeah. excellent. That was fun. Okay, so we have next Rob, Mr. Palmer, who, who has nothing behind him except for a psychon. And I'm kind of wondering if that's going to be the theme. Well, the theme is um, my it. Sunday Sunday papers talk at Psycon is about MPI and other social contagions. So that's what MPI? this is about. Mass psychogenic illness and other oh, social MPI. contagions. MPI. You have to enunciate your ball. Yeah, so this is the uh, topic oh, did of I send my you one? talk. Did I send you one? You sent me one what? I did send you one. Okay, I can't say anything because it might be one of the questions. Did you I send me one. I have no I idea. I sent you a, a link and I said, check this out. You're going to love this. I don't know. Which talking about. Um, okay, so question number one. Oh, who's, <laughs> who's muting people? I'll mute and oh, okay what the heck is going on here just a second oh there we go i undid it whatever we got it here we go mute three two one 
Okay, I, I'm going to get the prize back for the longest questions on average in this round. I'll tell you, because I'm trying to give you some some information here. We'll just help. we'll just uh, roll now. Oh. All right. First Brown. one. In July 1518, Frau Trofe, I don't know if how you pronounce it, began to dance fervently in the streets of Strasbourg. She kept up the constant dancing for a week and soon others joined her. By August, up to 400 were participating. Some collapsed and some died. By early September, the outbreak began to subside when the dancers went to the mountain shrine to pray for absolution. What is the name given to this episode of social contagion? Number two. And these are in chronological order, historically, by the way. Number two, in England and parts of Wales, in December of 1688, during the Glorious Revolution, false reports that Irish soldiers were burning and massacring English towns prompted a mass panic in at least 19 counties with thousands of people arming themselves and preparing to resist non-existent groups of marauding Irishmen. What is the name given to this episode of Social Contagion? Number three, I think this is my longest one. This musical instrument made of spinning glass balls was invented by none other than Benjamin Franklin in 1761. It initially gained wide popularity partially due to the reputation it gained for its music curing the maladies of people in the audience. But when a popular musician who played the instrument became ill and died, opinions of it changed. Soon audience members began to attribute their own ailments to attending a concert and the instrument therefore fell out of favor. The instrument's alleged effects were noted by German musicologist, is that a word? Uh, Johann Frederick Rochlitz. It excessively stimulates the nerves, plunges the players into a nagging depression and hence into a dark and melancholy mood. That is an apt method for slow self-annihilation. If you're suffering from any nervous disorder, you should not play it. If you are not yet ill, you should not play it excessively. Name the instrument. Number four. This is an entity of English folklore of the Victorian era with allegedly magical jumping powers. The first claim sighting was in 1837. Later sightings were reported all over the United Kingdom and were especially prevalent in suburban London, the Midlands, and Scotland. It was described by people as having a terrifying and frightful appearance with diabolical physiognomy, clawed hands, and eyes that resembled red balls of fire. One report claimed that Beneath a black cloak, he wore a helmet and tight-fitting white garment like an oilskin. Several reports mentioned he could breathe out blue and white flames and that he wore sharp metallic claws at his fingertips. Name this famous entity. Number five. This one comes to America. The anesthetic prowler or the phantom anesthetist were names given to the person or people believed to be responsible for a series of apparent attacks that occurred in Mattoon, Illinois during the mid forties. So this was in World War II. People were hearing about gas attacks all over. So they were worried it was gonna happen at home, right? So more than 24 separate incidents were reported to police over the span of two weeks. In addition to many more reported sightings of the suspected assailant, the victims reported smelling strange odors in their homes, soon followed by symptoms such as paralysis of the legs, coughing, nausea, and vomiting, but no one died or had serious medical consequences. Police remained skeptical of the accounts as no physical evidence was ever found. However, of course, newspapers ran alarmist articles about the reported attacks and treated each account as a fact. What is the more common name given to this likely non-existent villain? And it is the uh, name of the Wikipedia article. Number six. In some communities of Washington state in April, 1954, there were widespread claims of there suddenly being holes, pits, and dings in the ubiquitous object over a widespread area, leading residents to believe that a common causative agent was to blame. The damage was originally thought to be the work of vandals, but as a number of damage reports grew, the pitting was attributed to anything from sand, flea eggs, hatching in the material, to nuclear bomb fallout, to cosmic rays. What was undergoing this widespread and supposedly unusual damage? Number seven. 
The 38th episode of a popular TV series aired in 1997 and induced photosensitive epileptic seizures in viewers. 685 people were taken to hospitals with symptoms including blurred vision, headaches, dizziness, nausea, seizures, blindness, and convulsions. Although many victims recovered during the ambulance trip, more than 150 were admitted to hospitals with two hospitalized for over two weeks. There were reports of 12,000 people, which was 5 to 10% of the audience, later suffering mild symptoms not requiring medical attention. Although approximately 1 in 4,000 people are actually susceptible to these types of seizures, the numbers affected in this case was unprecedented and is thought to have been the result of mass hysteria following the media reports of the initial occurrences. Name the nation where this happened. Number eight, almost up to the turn of the century here. In June of 99, a company withdrew 30 million units of its product from sale after more than 100 people in Belgium and Northern France complained of cramps, nausea, and other illness after consuming it. Later testing found no evidence at all of contamination and the incident was determined to be a panic, perhaps fueled by the recent discovery of dioxins in Belgian meat. Name the company damaged by this episode of mass hysteria. Number nine. Now we're into this current century. In May 2001, reports spread in the capital of this nation and surrounding areas concerning a monkey-like creature that attacked people at night. Eyewitness accounts were often inconsistent, but often described the monkey man as about four feet tall, that's 120 centimeters for some of you folks, uh, covered in thick black hair with a metal helmet, metal claws, glowing red eyes, and three buttons on its chest. Some reports also claimed it wore roller skates. Others, however, described it as having a more vulpine snout and being up to eight feet tall and muscular. It would leak from building to building. Over 350 sightings of this creature reported, as well as around 60 that resulted in injuries. Two or three people actually died when they fell from tops of buildings or down stairwells in a panic caused when they thought they were under attack. Police had offered a $1,000 reward and released artist sketches of the eyewitness accounts in an attempt to catch the evasive creature. In what nation did all of this happen in 2001? And finally, number 10. Beginning late last year, and currently ongoing, it has been reported that thousands of girls in a hundred schools across this nation have been attacked with poison gas. The people accused the government and the government accused the people, making hundreds of arrests, calling it a false flag operation to incriminate the government. What nation is this happening in? Oh, this is some good ones. And there we go. I'm going to talk, I'm going to talk about uh, two of these incidents in detail at Psychon. The, the, the world should know much more about this. I'm glad you're doing this talk. It's important because you can see that through history. It's... Okay, go to your rooms. Deborah, we didn't decide where Deborah. Oh yeah, we did. We did. Never mind, Deborah. I know where you're going. You're going three. And I'm going to two. Hello, team. I'm here for you. I know okay. it's I'll play scribe because I'm not going to be very helpful. Well, one, a couple of these sounded familiar as though we yeah. had right. four. Yeah. I, I Almost all of these I've kind of heard, but I don't remember the name. Um, I only have one. Dancing um, Nuns? Uh, the number one is uh, the Dancing Plague. Oh, dancing right. Plague, yes. How do you remember these things? That's the only one I remembered, but several of these, the one with the red eyes, and there's like several of them that sound familiar, and I cannot remember them. The dancing play. Okay, yeah. so number two. I don't remember this one. Uh, yeah, this one doesn't sound familiar at all to me. It's 288, Glorious Run. It's the Leprechaun Wars. The Irish soldiers were burning in massacre, so it could be something to do with leprechauns. Or do they? Did they do that? Were they called leprechauns back in the 1680s? Yeah, no, I was really associated kidding. with it. I don't know. Uh, clovers, the green, the green. I don't know. I don't have an answer. Yeah, I know three. 
Yeah. Oh, okay. What is it? The glass harmonica. Great. Okay. Jumping. Red balls of fire. Name. It's a thing. It's a. It's a creature. Cryptozoology thing, right? Um, yeah. Cryptic. Helmet, tight fitting white garment. Elton John? The Baba Duke? Wrong country for that one. Oh, no. Trump at one of his golf courses? I don't know. I, I bet a lot of people aren't going to know some of these. These are too obscure. No, no. He had a tight fitting white garment like an oil skin. I just can't imagine <laughs> him in that. That's true. That's true. That That's going to give me, I'm not going to sleep all tonight if I had to imagine that. And there's not a big oh, Mac it sounds like sight. a mop man. You know, well, you never have. Through. What Colbert now? Colbert is always showing that picture of Trump's butt when he's playing tennis and uh -huh. uh, under with it. He always shows that damn thing and he doesn't give a warning. He should say <laughs> he's about to show that thing because I've every heard time Karen. I just feel like a. Uh, yeah, some people are eating them. I know. Jeez. There you I go. Know. Why don't we go through and do the ones we believe we know and then come okay. back and ponder? Fine, I have a guess for. I want to see if anybody else comes up and so I know what I've got mine right. Which the only one, one I think I know is 10. Okay, I think five is the mad gasser. Okay, now that could be Trump. <laughs> or something gasser or um, that's, I, it sounds, I mean, I know this episode. I don't remember the na episode's name, but I remember all of this about it. Very interesting. Well, we'll like, go with why that. would Let's... they be doing this sure. in Illinois, you know, Matt, sure. Matt, Mattoon, Iowa, Iowa of all places. But Okay, now what was damaged here? Oh, wind windchills. This is one of the first things we ever studied at the Skeptic Toolbox. Repeat it, please. Windshield, like in your car, windshield. But wind, it says, wind but shield. It, yeah. But it says what was undergoing this. Oh, what was undergoing this widespread? So wind wind shields. People's wind shields. Wind shields. Windshields. Yeah, okay. Windshield. <laughs> windshield. Like right okay. Let's <laughs> let's add that to the list. Windshield. <laughs> Did I not they were cold. Right? The wind made them cold. <laughs> windshield. <laughs> Could do that. Washington, Washington, Washington windshield. <laughs> I can't hear it wrong. Windshield. Wind Only in Washington. Yeah. Actually, it did take place in Washington. Yeah. It really did. Oh, it does say that. Yeah, it, it really says did take place. Public. It was pitted windshields. Uh huh. Okay, now if seven. I'm almost positive it's Japan. Yeah, oh, it is. A Pokemon mm. panic kind of thing. Yeah. That's what it was, Pokemon. I'm pretty sure. Okay, now I don't know. Wait, um, is it cheese? Was it little those little cheeses with the cows on them? The baby bells or laughing cows? 1999. Yeah. Wow, can you imagine having have it with drop because people were like this rumor started? How amazing to just throw food away like that. Okay, put baby bells for now, and then we'll come back to it if need be. Baby bells. Nine, I swear, I I swear, I remember this. Okay, we'll come back to it. But I don't remember what it is. Gosh, this monkey man! What is wrong with people? A monkey man, and they're going to jump to their death. Yep. Um, ten. We all know, right? Iran. Brandy knows it. I thought it was Pakistan. Is it Iran? I Maybe it is Iran. Iran. Uh, it's a mass. Uh, it's, Rob talks about it all the time. It's um, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's Iran. Okay. Is it, is it the one that the? It's the one where they had the woman or the girl that got murdered for her. Not that was her. Yeah, that was Iran. It was oh. that place. Because it just it just escalated because of you know the crimes against women. Yeah. So it's that place where it was number nine United States. Let's put United States. I'd believe anything would come out of our country. That's so stupid. Okay. 
Wherever it was, had tall buildings. I remember well, that. Plus, they ordered it was one thousand dollars, which narrows it down to only you know currencies of a dollars. Some place that a thousand dollars in Canada could be Canadians. Canada. Canadians aren't that gullible. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you have not read Romana de, 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 de Dildo, Queen right. of Canada stuff. Oh my gosh, she's amazing. Talk about oh. The one Gullible? that got chased out of the town recently, Romana, we wrote her Wikipedia page. She's anti-vaccine and she says she's going to shoot people. People need to be shot. She's driving around Canada and these giant, why do you guys, why does everybody look at me like I'm nuts? <laughs> Romana Dildo, Romana <laughs> Dildado, the queen of Canada. Is she into porn? Is she a porn star? No, she's this Filipino woman who, who's issuing her own. Oh, she's issue. Filipino. She can't be. I think you're watching the wrong news. <laughs> no, I, we made. Filipino the, women do not participate in porn. Brandy, you're our GSOW. You should know this. <laughs> you should have every page memorized, Brandy. Well, this one we talk about. Come on, Susan gets done. confused. She goes to CNN and thinks it's the Canadian News Network. <laughs> No, okay. it's Romana do Dildo. Let's mm -hmm. fill in our answers. Let's okay, take so a we're guess missing... at number four. See, see, here, here. I'm putting in the chat. <laughs> Romana do Dildo. 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 You've got a potty brain. She's got all. No, no, I don't. That's how I remember it. She's got. She's got people's houses going into foreclosure and stuff. She says the government. She didn't. You don't have to pay your bills anymore. They tried to arrest the police. Oh, I remember that. Oh, yeah. now Brandy remembers. I'm not so crazy after all, am I? Well, when you kept calling her a dildo, I didn't understand. Well, that's, that's how I remember it. It's Romana de dildo something. Kitty, kitty, kitty. It is almost still, though. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Karen, you got to come over and help me finish my puzzle. Mm. I'm going to go get my shot tomorrow. Yay. Okay. I'm getting mine, too. Yay. Mm -hmm. Okay, number... One thing. Yeah. Oh, number two. Do we have number two? Um, yeah, no, we're missing two and four. Let's put an answer for number two. How about the... The green machine. No, I don't know. The leprechaun brigade, some, yeah, something this leprechaun army or something, leprechaun massacre, something like that. Yeah, I'd use that because that's really the shamrock, scary. the shame ooh, of the ooh, shamrocks, ooh. shamrock, shamrock army. I don't know, it's very st stereotyping, but go ahead. <laughs> so, which of the thousands are they stick to? You can get to choose, Ron. You choose, choose right though. Just choose right. The shamrock show. Shamrock. <laughs> shilly shamrocks. It's easier okay. to spell than shilly so. Shilly okay. shillelies. And four. Four. This is the Jumpin' Jack Flash character. That's what we're going with. He's going to know this one. Jumping Jack Flash. That is, that's what it is. That that makes sense. <laughs> Has to come from somewhere. Yeah, we have. We had. To, I mean, they just didn't name a. Um, How about number two? We go with the ire of the Irie. The, oh, there we go. The ire of the Irie. <laughs> okay, the eye of the Irie is it? Ire. 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 Okay. Ire of the Irie. Well. Irie that way. Did, did I kill my team? Pretty much. Maybe. No, no, yeah. we did okay, but. Some of them are just too obscure. I don't think some people are mm. going to know any of these at all. Can you please scroll down, Ron? I'd like to write all the answers. There's, okay. there's going to be a wide spread on this one. How far down do you need? Eight, nine, and ten, please. Okay, there you go. So, Brandy, are you all ready for us? You're gonna, you're gonna be, you're hosting everybody, right? So, yep, got all the guest rooms made up in my, you know, four hundred and fifty <laughs> something room mansion. Just like Trump, you're just like. It's just inflated. Didn't you rent the ball? I so want that, you to be at the Flamingo. I don't want to be traveling outside. I don't travel because that's what that's what this. Oh no, I own the Flamingo. Don't you know? Oh, oh. <laughs> <Penthouse floor. laughs> we should all pitch in and buy the penthouse for rent the penthouse and all that. That would be so much fun. Oh my gosh, just party all the time with big couches we could sleep on. Or wow, gosh, that'd be fun. 
when I'm a rich woman. How many cents are you up to now? I am up to $2.51. Wow. <laughs> and we knew her when. That's right. I wrote it down because it's one of my announcements for today. I'm like, okay, I'll be announcing it. I'll have to take a double look. Oh, I should look because it is coming up to that time, isn't it again? Well, let's see. I'm I'm raking in the bucks. I'm telling you, you know, this I watched a zillion art uh things about YouTube before, you know, I was like, okay, I need to know how to do this. How do you no, monetize you things? Do how do you do this? How do you do that? And so many people were talking about, you know, they were showing their first month and they were showing you their people were getting like two or three dollars a day at the beginning and then ten dollars a day and then twenty dollars. And you're like, wow. Two dollars fifty one cents. Because my most popular videos are uh I made them at the very, very beginning and I included the TV footage and so they took off my monitor monetization on them and they've got like 80 something thousand views so i can't get anything off of it because they're they don't get that kind of stuff feeling sad yeah i'm waiting for someone to do like some kind of class action suit because they get you get up to a certain number and you're entitled to money and then you make a mistake and you don't always know what the mistake is and they don't tell you and they don't communicate and you know there's nobody to call yeah so somebody's at some point someone will do a class action suit probably and i'll be waiting for my money because i'll say see where's my money give me my money get you up yeah, to three dollars they've made it they, they've got a new thing now uh that just started like in the last week that i can go through and i when i load up a video they'll review it or I could go through and I have to answer all these questions. Am I using any swear words? Um, is there any depictions of sexual activity? Is it in a com comedic, you know, like uh, a sexual word in a comedic kind of, or a slang or whatever? They have all these things you have to do. And so they say that if you, if you always do it, and they're going to review me anyway, if you do it for a long time and you, and they don't have any problem with whatever you say, as far as what is there, then they'll let it just go through all the time. You have to prove yourself, in other words. But it's a way of speeding up the process and stuff. So I don't really know what to say half the time because they're like, is there anything, is there anything like fraud or anything in it? And I'm like, well, yeah, it's all fraud. I'm doing it. It's like, you know, I, it's, it's kind of yeah, weird. you're trying to uncover the fraud done by others. Right. So I'm kind of like, well, but I guess I'm not really, you know, and I'm trying to watch my words. I'm trying not to use words like, the f word or anything like that which i usually don't use anyway but still i'm trying to be sure i don't use it i see a lot of youtube videos where they don't bleep out the f words i haven't quite well, figured the logic it's just that they can't they have a different kind of advertising so what happens is you can't they can't advertise it um like if it's pure and there's no problem it can go to anybody it can go on any channel there's there's monetizing all of it others there's more restrictions to monetizing and it can't go to just any feed can't go to anybody under 18's feed and so you can still swear but you're just not going to make as much money so in a way it's kind of like conditioning society unless of course that's I, have to, I have to excuse myself for a moment I'll be right back okay we'll be right here because where's Rob So you know what we need, Brandy, is we need a bunch of chairs, like folding chairs, comfortable folding chairs, like endless amounts of them to put into Wendy's bedroom. <laughs> so we don't have to sit on those beds because it's so uncomfortable. So we need like all kinds of like whoever's driving or or people who live there will just bring all those folding chairs. Of course, we probably won't go into Wendy's room now that we will have a whole bunch of sit because there's nowhere to sit once you get in there. You get we can all chair. just cuddle on the bed together. Yeah, but it gets, <laughs> it gets weird. Were you crashing at Brandy's or crashing at uh, um, Gail's? No, we're going to the Flamingo. Well, I thought you were going to crash at their place. I was teasing. It's cheaper. No, 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 no. It's too far. The Flamingo. Oh. You're it's constantly not far. Back it's you're back and forth to your room all the time. So you. That's uh, true. I mean, you're you're like up till three in the morning, and then up at you know go to bed, then get up at six you know something like that i don't but some people do 
there's not that much happening. I think we're pretty mild as far as skeptics go. We're not that, I don't know. Is your, is your son and your husband coming, Brandy? No, they're not so much interested. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh my. The thousand yeah. dollar U.S. currency does not imply it's USA. That's equivalent amount in U.S. dollars. All right, Rob, come on, we're overthinking it. Let's go. <laughs> come on now. So, Ron, did you end up finding out what happened with um, with uh, um, Betts and Gunter? No, it's because the person I know who got the book won't spill the beans. Well, I know somebody. <laughs> What do you tell me what you want to know? They they go on this trip. And well, I, I mean, obviously they split somewhere along the well, line. Actually, it's more amicable than than it feels like. It's obvious at the end that it's a temporary thing because they're totally on to different trajectories. Right. Um, Gunter is trying real hard to be spontaneous. This is a cartoon, Brandy. You can tune out. Yeah. I used to read it when I was little. Okay, well, there you go. So there's a, something happened in a strip and 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 the it was supposed to be these two characters go on a road trip in a van and they go all over the place and she's an influencer and she's got like a million followers or something like that so they're so their youtube account or their instagram whatever their account is snapchat or whatever they use is funding the fact that they're driving around in this old dilapidated like van and so they go and um you know they they go do things and they overreact and then they and then they they're not comfortable all the time but yet they do enjoy themselves like they're under the stars you can tell there's a lot of romance going on and stuff like that they love each other very much these characters but he's a planner like here's our itinerary i've researched everything we're going to go here on this day at this time and she is spontaneous and so a fan will say oh take this route or stop off at this place or come meet up with us at this location you know the fans because that's what's funding them and he just he's trying really hard to go with the flow but she cannot handle a rigid, rigid schedule and he, and it's like they're, they're clashing they love each other but there's so much clashing they're trying like she says i don't want to see gunter all panicking and everything and then gunter will be saying to himself i'm trying really hard but Gunter has to call his mom every day, like twice a day. And he's all weirded out about it. Like, oh, I didn't call my mom. I didn't call my mom, you know, and, and she doesn't know where we are. And the spreadsheet's got a spreadsheet, the Google spreadsheet's supposed to be looking at. And then at the very end, um, uh, the, the van is always having problems, always having problems. And they get to this place and they're, and they're supposed to drive to this, to this, event where a bunch of their fans are going to be they become like there's like a because they're influencers right so so they become the like stars of the summer or something like that they're they're like on the list of being one of five and there's going to be a big prize and uh you know all this stuff will happen if they win this prize and then you have to show up at this last um conference for their influencing whatever there is van life or whatever they are cosplay people and so they're supposed to show up there and Gunter is like, I got to get back to school. I've got to get my books. I've got to get registered. And she's like, no, we're going to be stars. We're going to go and we're going to live this life where we're going to be able to do this kind of thing where we travel from conference to conference. We'll make tons of money, you know, maybe get TV deals. He's like, I got college. I got it. I've got a plan. My mom's waiting for me. She's expecting us for dinner at six o'clock on this day. And she's like, but Gunter, we've got this, you know, we're in third place. And he's like, but college, you know, I, we can't not skip out on college. She's like, we should just skip college and, or do it on the road and blah, 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 spontaneous. And he's like, plan. And finally the van breaks and the stuff happens, but they end up splitting up. And he's like, I'm picking an Uber is going to get me and I'm going to go home. And she's like, well, I'm going off with my friends, uh, these, uh, these, uh, the fans and they're off to this conference. So I assume she's going to win. They're going to win this conference or come with them, you know, make some money off it or something. And they're great, but they're, they're totally different people. I, I just can't see how they can. So, so the, start, the book ends with the two of them splitting off. So you never really know what happened to her because he, the story picks up with him coming back. 
No, and I know there's a couple of thought bubbles of her. So obviously, yeah, she's at the her. conference and, and she's she's like a celebrity there. So that's oh, so they, they do show that part in the book. Well, they, no, they show that in the the strip, the cartoon. Do they? He's yeah. The phone keeps ringing. It keeps dinging, and she keeps seeing pictures of. He keeps seeing. Oh, that okay. Yeah, that's true. He keeps seeing all the pictures. He just recorded that Ron. Everybody's going to know what happened to Gunter and Betts during the summer. So. Huh? Yeah, I'm sorry. We just spoiled that. So you guys don't listen to the video if you want to know what happens. I don't know what you're talking about. Lugan. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not yeah. and Tootie. That was a TV Brandy's show. Brandy's got it all. That's right. Icon. She is bringing her 54. Bears, That's right. And she's rented the penthouse at the Flamingo for us. Oh, cool. I expected nothing less. Really? <laughs> okay. So awesome. She's just telling us all about it. But don't listen to the video because it's going to give away stuff. Okay, here come the answers. Oh, Lord. So um, <laughs> I think there's going to be a fairly widespread of the team scores here, because uh, which is good because right now it's too close. All right. The first one was not the Dancing Mania, but I saw some group said that. Uh, not close enough. It was called the Dancing Plague. Yeah. Uh, Karen got it. And, uh, and, sick, and sickness, Dancing Sickness isn't close enough. No. Specifically, the dancing mm. plague. Technically, okay. a plague. Yeah. Sickness, though. Technically, <laughs> they got poison in there. Yeah. So, yeah. N- number two, uh, which is the uh, the Irish thing. Uh, I had never heard of this. Uh, the Irish fright. F R I G H T. Oh. Irish fright. Mm. Yeah, that's what it's called. That was on our it's list. Team. Sort of like a terror. Yeah. Have you ever heard of the I, I actually wrote incident. fright, oh. <laughs> but then I crossed like it off. Better. So number three, uh, I heard some teams almost getting this, but not exactly. Not crystal. It's the glass harmonica. Yeah. Also, oh, also, well, also spelled without the H. You could have written glass harmonica. Ah. Also the glass <laughs> harmonium, the bowl oh, organ, right. or the hydro crystallophono. <laughs> <laughs> For, 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 that we can't get. We don't get credit for crystal. No. no. Uh, crystal is uh, a form of glass harmonica. No. So, so there's a really good, excellent uh, uh, Sherlock Holmes movie that came out a few years ago. It's where Sherlock Holmes is in his 90s. Do you guys remember this? I can't even remember the name of it. No. And it features a glass harmonica oh. and a woman who's going through postpartum depression, and she takes up the glass harmonica. She's going through. <laughs> Children died in, um, she had stillborn babies. And so she takes up the glass harmonica and her husband forces her to stop because he says it's making her more depressed and it's, it's taking go. over her soul or whatever. And, you know, and so she has to give it up and very dire consequences happen when she yeah, does. It. That's oh, cool. Sad, they actually sad, represented sad. that in the movie. Really good movie. I've seen it like three times and I can't think of what it's called, but it's, it's a modern Sherlock Holmes mm-hmm. where he's... Blues Brothers 2. Oh. All right, number four. I heard one team get this at least. Uh, Spring Healed Jack. Ooh, yes. I've heard of it now. Yep. We had his brother Jumping Jack Flash. <laughs> we did. We did. Um, oh, you're on my team. Mark says hi. Hi. Hi, Mark. Mark. Hi, Mark. How's everybody? Good. 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 Spring Healed what? Jack. Jack healed, not healed. Spring healed. healed. He had spring heals because he could jump tall. Spring healed. Jack. I, 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 when I heard about, when I read about him, I immediately thought of those springy shoes that. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah that we had that. as kids. Oh, mm. All right, number five. So the more common name and then title of the Wikipedia article is the mad gasser of Mattoon. Yeah. Well, I, oh, I said the mad gasser. Well, is that all right? I, <laughs> yeah, that's okay because I actually put Mattoon in the uh, in the in the question. So yeah, like, oh, I, you said he was spotted. What the heck would people think that there would be so many gassing people in Mattoon, Illinois? I mean, it's... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, of all places. Yeah. Well, so Haven't so you all right. Read the on 9-11, I was working at a tiny company, you know, with tiny so output no. of software for the U.S. government. And, you know, I drove to work that morning and the towers had mm-hmm. been already hit. And they were saying, we're locking down this building because we could be the next target. 
So like five, 10 people off this building. It's ridiculous. Yeah, we're, we're number two on the list after the World Trade Center and the Pentagon. We had at my work at J.C. Benny's in the styling salon next door to us. They had a bathroom. It was just a bathroom. One, one door, you open it up, there's a bathroom. Somebody called a 911 because they thought we had a poison. What is it like? A, what was that? What was, it that a, rise, what was it that was everybody's terrified? Rising? Rising? Sarin? It's not a gas. There was something, one of those. Like a sarin, sarin gas. Yeah. Something no, like the that. the white powder. They freaked out and called 911, and, mm -hmm. and the, I guess they and, came to go check it out. It was somebody's makeup, powder makeup that they'd left on the counter. Oh, that was the anthrax. Oh, anthrax. 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 Yeah. anthrax. And I yeah. said to myself, if yeah. I had only known, I would have gone over there and just picked it up and blew it. I mean, it was like, how stupid. <laughs> What? Oh, yeah. Somebody's gonna leave like like a cup of anthrax in the bathroom at a styling salon at J.C. Penney's and Salinas. What That's are America's people thinking? Land. America's heartland. Yeah. All right. Number six. <laughs> this was actually a skeptoid episode. Uh, this yes. was automobile windshields. This Yay. was Janine so, got it. I'm sure. Right? And so the the thing was basically people once they started hearing about it, it's like they started mm. looking at their windshield instead of through the windshield and seeing right. all the normal flaws in it. And that's what. Was going <laughs> and, and and at that time, windshields weren't quite made of the same substance we have right now, so they did have like little pit things on them. It was a common, but nobody mm. ever looked at it because. Mm -hmm. But this is one of the first things I learned at um, in the skeptic toolbox. Oh, wow. It's one of our lessons. Huh? Oh, is that where we heard it? Yeah, it I couldn't so remember. Good. I, I, I was, was aware of it. But very I, oh. Somebody talked about it. It was really interesting. Okay. What? So that's like this uh, crazy person who uh, noticed that uh, the, that the uh, spray from the sprinkler sh 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 had rainbow colors and thought it was due to chemicals put in the water or something. <laughs> it'll turn you gay. It'll yeah, turn trails. you gay. You better watch out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I had not heard that one. All right, number seven. Uh, this one pretty much people should have known. That was true, Jim. This was a Pokemon, and therefore it was Japan. Yep. Yay. I watch my, I know my bin we back. did a good guess, guys. <laughs> uh the, the really interesting thing i read about this is the light flashing was no different than it was in several other previous episodes, and there was yeah. no incident from that. So this is really peculiar. Mm. Um, all right, number eight. I had not heard of this before. Uh, so actually, all of these, by the way, are on the Wikipedia list of mass hysteria cases. So That's where oh. I got them all. Um, number eight is the Coca Cola Company for people uh -oh. drinking oh. Coca Cola. Oh, really? oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Yep. Mm. Uh, wow. From for number nine, right. I'm going to share my screen. This is part of my presentation for uh, PsyCon. And there are some eyewitness uh, <coughs> uh, sketches of eyewitness testimony. So, yeah, the monkey man. Where is he from? Of India. Oh, yes. Yay. So this oh. was, of course, oh. the media is like, oh, maybe it looked like this. Oh. <laughs> it just made the situation worse. Oh, it was and Believe it or not, we had not. one of these things in the news today in Boston. What? There's a there's a Loch Ness monster in Boston area. It, yes. It's so stupid. It's somebody said it was a log, and then the the city said it's probably oh, a hose. I actually yeah. sent that to Ben Radford. Oh my what? god! Oh my! It's a hose <laughs> that gives out air bubbles to air no, aerate the pond. No. And they're trying to say, and the guy who put, was hanging yeah. signs up all around the pond. Yeah. Yeah, all around the trail. Hmm. My son sent that to me, pictures it was of it. in the news tonight. Yeah. Crazy. Oh, no. Okay, so here is... Let's see. Let me find the best photo. I'm going to share my screen for this one, too. This is in my PsyCon talk. Uh, the country here is Iran. Yay. And, and this amazed me because Yay. I did I didn't actually not know about this. And I was in mm -hmm. communication with, with Bartholomew about Havana syndrome. And he's, oh, do you see what's going on in Iran? I go, mm -hmm. no. He says, yeah, they're not really reporting it in your country because he's in he's in New Zealand. And this is interesting. And most people I've asked don't, never heard about this on the US news, but this is a big deal. Started in November, mm -hmm. went for many, many months, supposedly in thousands of schools, yep. you know, mm -hmm. hundreds, hundreds of schools, yeah. hundreds of cities, thousands Terrifying. of 
Yeah. That's Still interesting because it has been covered in Canada. That's interesting. Yes, yeah, it's yeah. Coming here. Again, nothing on the BBC. in Canada. What was the answer to places. number nine? I saw the cartoon, but what was the answer? Oh, in India. 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 Okay, we got that right. So All right. Okay. Uh, my team yeah. thought I was nuts because I started talking about Romana de Dildo and they thought All I was right. wrong with me. And All I right. said, Brandy's, Brandy's on just as if she should do yeah. it. We By the way, I... And Adrian's going, I know exactly who you're talking about. Susan, I'm a little more concerned that it was you that kept using the adjective crazy and none of us said anything. She just, you just kept saying it. Well, <laughs> we did nod funny. our heads a lot. You guys are like... By the way, uh, my, my sound cut off during the answer to five. What was that? So it, I'm, I, I am pasting all the answers in the chat now. Number uh, five we, is the mad gasser. The mad gasser. And I would like to, everyone to take notes if anyone's keeping uh, uh, notes of Susan's wonderful uh, vocabulary and things that we just love to include in our uh, in our team names. Washington and Winchell's. So the which uh, like donut Winchell's. Winchell's. Karen, you Winchell's. said you said Winchell's. 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 That's a donut place. <laughs> this All right, is scores. Winchell's. Scores. scores. That's what happens when the weatherman says the wind chill factor. <laughs> Caspian's got a list, I'm sure. Evan will let you know when day. we see a train coming. You worry Thanks. me a lot. Thank you. Kevin? Oh, yeah, there's a train track. We're waiting for the train to come. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for the train to hit him. <laughs> so yeah, in, my, in, my, in my talk on uh, on Sunday at PsyCon, I'm going to spend a little tiny bit of time on uh, the monkey man, a little bit more time on the Iranian situation, and most of the time on uh, Havana yeah. syndrome. Yeah. Very interesting. Which, and I which Havana me. syndrome is the only one I didn't actually put in here. Rob, <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Do you, you don't remember me sending you a link about the trope family? I sent you I sent you a link to this trope family. It's really fascinating. It's it's like a a fam family mass high, uh, psychogenic thing that happened in Australia. No, link me again. The trope yes. family. I swear I sent it to you. <laughs> okay. I've heard of this mass hysteria that is affecting billions of people, a millions. Of hundreds of millions, billions of people on the planet, they believe that you have to say certain words in order to have something scientifically happen to your body when it ceased to exist. And other people, no matter what they do, if they don't say these magic words or walk in a certain building on a certain day of the week, it won't happen happen to them. It's no. like mass hysteria. <laughs> You're absolutely also right. that flag has fringe on it. <laughs> what? What? What flag? What flag? Sovereign, sovereign citizenship. That's where no. I thought you were going with this. If your course. flag has uh, fringe, yeah, you're not a real court. Oh. Wait, what? Yeah, yeah. If, if the flag in the courtroom has fringe course. on it, it means it's an admiralty court, and because you are not a naval uh, sailor, you uh, are not subject to the jurisdiction of that court. Go Google uh, sovereign citizen wow. Moorish people. Wow. It is and, and drink There's a little trope bit. Stuff, you you guys. <laughs> uh, grab that out of the grab that out of the thing. It's fascinating. It's this family that disappeared and in Australia. And it's just like, what the heck? Very, well, very interesting. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. So we're ready for scores. All right. Oh, I, Susan, that's funny. I remember seeing this. I opened it and I thought it said the Trump family and I just deleted it. I said, I'm not watching anything about the Trump family. <laughs> it's the, the Trump, Trump family. Trump. Okay, I'll watch this later. Yeah, Trump it's very family. interesting. Wow. It's okay. like it's a, it's like mass psychogenic illness in one family. Wow. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> let's start with the, are you ready to listen to these names, Mark, and pick the one that you think is the winner? No, okay. I'm going to read them out. GOP lesson, turning the bass up too high blows out your speaker. Oh, you went um, nine. Wow. Oh, nice. Dang. Oh, yeah. Wow, I'm impressed. We're going to the desert on a horse with no name. We got four. Wow. Vote Mortimer Snurd to replace McCarthy for speaker. Six. <laughs> McCarthy is replaced with Alexa. She's a speaker who can run the house. Four. 
gosh. <laughs> Commander relocated from Washington to a safe location with Ninja Cat. Seven. Wow, yep. we do have a spread. You got to yeah, have to so. stick. Mm. I'm impressed. Any winners there, Mark, that stood out to you? He didn't pick anything. He's eating chicken and the cat The cat is all over him and will not shut up. Okay, so let's take our photo, everybody. I'm not just eating chicken. He's having, he just went back to his cooking class. Sure. Well, I have to load Thank my you. background. Hi, Mark. Hi. Mm -hmm. Not Go ready for the picture. I'm waiting for Caspian. And there's Jamie. Comfortable on the couch. Scoot over, stay, Jamie. Stay, stay, there. Stay, stay, stay. <laughs> okay, ready? One, two, three. <clears throat> uh, one, two, again. Good job. Horace of no name. Good to be out. And wait. Okay, we're coming back in five minutes. Okay, Paul, that we're still you. recording. Bye, all. Thank you for having me. Buddy, I gotta go. Bye, Take care, Vincent. Oh, bye, bye, Vincent. Take care, Vincent. Bye, Carolyn. Bye, uh, Carolyn. Bye, Carolyn. I'm still here. I'm still here. here. I was waving bye. to Vincent. I'm here. Bye, oh, Caroline. Okay. <laughs> bye, everybody who's waiting back at the. Bye, Adrian. Bye. See you later, Vincent. Thanks I'm for coming. Bye, Jim. Bye. Did you get okay. the chickens in? Now I'm bye. gonna save you. Did you the chickens in? Yep. Okay. Yeah. I don't have to go get the chickens. Oh, Travis. Get the chickens. John got the chickens for me. Oh, that's sweet. And Trask won't let me mute so I can go get coffee because he won't let me stop petting him. Oh, my gosh. Okay. I just muted you, Janine. You're the goodest doggy. You're the goodest. I'm the goodest doggy. There you go.
It was a really quiet bunch while I went to get something to drink. Jane, you having been back. cheated, having been cheated out of our trip to Rancho Cordova, we should go do an adventure. Yeah, I want to. Let's do it. And maybe we'll just have to go see Peggy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, and I talked to Peggy, and she said that she might come up here around Christmas time. Oh, that would be fun. Yeah, but uh, but yeah, we've got the whole world out there, Janine. Let's let's think about this. Hmm. We must all be tired. I've never seen this group this quiet. <laughs> I know I was really worried when I I went to get something to drink and and eat. And I heard nothing. Waiting for I dad thought jokes. we were all no just one, muted. No one's got any dad jokes. <laughs> I heard a dad uh, joke. But I don't want to tell a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I, I heard I heard a bad joke, but it's bad. Oh, yeah. Those are the best ones sometimes. Sometimes. What's, what's the difference between? Now I can't think of it. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. That's a horrible joke. Well, yeah, well, what's that's what's why I don't want to what's, one. what's the difference between a garbanzo bean and a, and a chickpea? What is it? Trump never had. I a know. Trump, you know. Trump never oh. had a gabonzo bean on his never face. Never mind. <laughs> I don't oh, get no, it. That's awful. <laughs> that's awful. <laughs> I told you it was bad. Oh. I don't get it. I'm going to have to look it up. A chick piece. A female. Trump never had a gabonzo bean on his face. Oh. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Okay. OJ okay, was bad. Make him explain it, Jane. Make him explain it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that you just demonetize Susan's recording of this. Oh, Chanel. shit. Don't tell that one again, Kevin. <laughs> You'll have to edit that out. <laughs> and also, when, when Trump becomes president again, he's going to. Uh, he's have going to come new, after me. His new AI research, anything that was said badly about him, and he's going to come after you guys. First of all, I don't think he would consider that a bad thing. Uh, <laughs> second of all, <laughs> why the girl? I, he'll probably make me a member of his uh, of his uh, his his office. You <laughs> know, if, if he ever got into office again, um, I would personally start, you know, separating Canada from America <laughs> and physically. Like he's, no 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 yeah I just start digging a trench. He's leading. He's leading <laughs> in the, the latest, wall. He's leading. In That's the where the wall poll. belongs. He's leading in the latest poll with Biden, and Biden has to be up by at least four points because of the electoral college to actually win. Just saying. And don't remember, make me hurt Paul you. Paul said that Hillary was going to win back in 2016, so I don't believe polls anymore. I He's went to 91 the counts, barrels and strays. 91 and felonies. Something has got to stick. Oh, yes. He's going it doesn't even matter start. because all of his people are going to vote for him even if he's in prison. He's going start. to become a franchise of Spirit Halloween. Haven't you oh. seen? I love that Power so is going much. to become Spirit Halloween. <laughs> it's beautiful. Have you seen the little kid who makes fun of him? It's a little kid. He's got a big head of blonde hair and he combs it over and he, he's probably about 10 or 12 years old and he does the voice perfectly and he's just really funny. Yeah. Did you see what he said when they asked him, um, when they told him, he was it was going between some place and some reporter said, did you hear what Taylor Swift said about you? Did you, did you hear what his response was? No. What was it? Do you still like Taylor Swift's music? And he said, well, I know. if that's what she said, I probably like her 25% less. Well, someone put a, a bunch of uh, his old speeches together where he said <laughs> yes, everything, 
it's, said about him. He said about Hillary Clinton. Clinton in the have, years, have many you years seen ago. some of the new democratic ads where they're using things marjorie taylor green has said verbatim about all the good stuff that biden has done yeah, that's, yeah. it's it's it, she's like he's providing health care for people he's giving people food he's doing this oh. for our troops and it's just like dude, you're, you're endorsing him saying he's doing all these good things i love it well no she thinks they're bad things Okay, we're back. I hope everybody had a nice little break there. Yes, and while we were gone, uh, we demonetized this video. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, that's nice to know. You'll have to edit it. We're all going to be on Trump's hit list when he becomes president. You'll have to edit my dirty joke out of it. Okay. We'll give you like the 10 cents that you would have gotten for this. Oh, well, this one is not on that channel. So this this one is on my personal channel. And I don't have any. I, don't, I have seven. Do you want to hear a dirty joke? <laughs> <laughs> is it a, a stick no it, it's what's the difference between a gabonzo bean and a chickpea trump never had a gabonzo bean on his face <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty it, <laughs> I'm a chick is peeing on trump's face oh! Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, why do you think he's so orange <laughs> Deborah likes that i know Deborah likes those she's laughing did cal spin and jamie leave too oh my goodness i hope not yep they did for all of I you people it. who are coming to las vegas this is an actual picture from a few weeks ago <laughs> Oh, isn't that beautiful? Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Rainbow's nice. Boulevard, very pretty. Did you take it nice. Rainbow on rainbow. I mean, where else? Oh, you rainbow? Rainbow. Nice photo. That's awesome. That's a great Did photo. you do that, Gail? No, it was it was somebody posted on Facebook. Oh, it's very I, pretty. I've seen the only double rainbow I've ever seen. I was on rainbow. So I suspect that that name was not accidental. Mm. So is pretty, that yeah. is that the sphere pretending to be a rainbow or is it actually a rainbow? <laughs> Very good. The sphere, right. the sphere doesn't have to pretend. You, you can you can't miss it. So we're back from our, our break and okay, that I gotta cross off. Where's Carl? I mean Kyle. I said Peggy's busy, she's got house guests. I told you I'm at two dollars and fifty one cents on my YouTube channel. I know you guys are all excited to hear how much That's I great. First week, two dollars and fifty-one cents in total. That's before tax That's taken out of seven it. Seven grand Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> very good, very good. Kat. Okay, uh, Rob, do you have anything? This, no, that's a shock. I got nothing. I sent two articles in, and apparently, the one person who can post something to the skeptical water site is out. So nothing has been happening in a whole week and a half on there. Well, he's back now. He told me he was sick. Um, mm -hmm. I I wrote a I wrote an article on ghost hunting and the how, wonderful time I had up in Sacramento and Oregon and Portland doing the ghost hunts and how it's how it's a good idea for skeptic groups to do that. You know, Jane was there too, and we had a good time. And I explained, you know, it's hit and miss. You might find some groups that are very ghost centric, but most for the most part, it was it's interesting. The talk afterwards is interesting. It's a learning experience for the skeptic community. And and Barry looked at it and he says, I'm gonna title the Sleeping with the Enemy. He says, You <laughs> you and Kenny have lost your minds in your old age or something. <laughs> <laughs> what? He says, Yeah, how would you like it if Thomas John was leading a ghost hunt? And <laughs> what are you talking about? So I rewrote the article a little bit and I submitted it again. And he goes, oh, you didn't have to do that. I was just joking. Because I'm always teasing uh, um, Kenny because because Kenny tends to be very pro ghost groups and, you know, working with them and hmm. all that. And he says, and he sounds like you're trying to do the same thing. So he says, it gets on my nerves. <laughs> I, I heard that CSI Con is going to have entertainment of Lady Vera Paca. No. Oh, I, I think so. No. He's gonna have what? Lady Verapaka is gonna be Verapaka. in Vegas. Thomas He's gonna Trump. be in Vegas that week, though. Oh. Yes, look for him. Really? Send me a link. That'd be interesting. He's, he's, he's got a, for Thomas he's doing a whole bunch of nights in Vegas. Hey, you guys, we might want to go to a drag show. Uh, yeah. That would be highly Robin will go. 
Well, put, Her, put, it, put the link, Kevin. Send it to I'll me. I'll have to find the date. So I hope it's the same time you guys are going to oh be gosh, there. Oh, my gosh. That would be so fun. Um, and Adrian, do you have anything? Well, I'm reading the newsletter on the Skeptic Zone. And this week's Canadian phrase of the week has been inspired by Kat McLeod. Ooh. She she said something when I was interviewing her this week, and I incorporated it into the newsletter. So you all have to listen. <laughs> okay. okay. I, well, I always listen. Carolyn, you had uh, some announcement too, didn't you? Something good happened to you? Um, I don't know. So a couple uh, things, actually. The only thing I could think of is um, thank you for having me contact Eric at CFI. So I got a big Christmas gift of goodies to put out on our table coming up on Free Thought Day. Sacramento. So we will look, we will look mm -hmm. um, kind of professional on Sunday at the Capitol in Sacramento. So this Sunday. And then um, again, we're working on a, our rational round table, a uh, little skeptic group here in Lodi. So oh. Where our next meeting is coming up um, the first week of November. Aren't you going to be teaching a class coming up soon? Oh, yeah, thank oh, you. Oh, just that little thing. Okay, so yes, um, I'm going to be doing a workshop based on Susan's workshop that she's given. I tweaked it a little bit for the membership at OLLI um, at the Pacific. So um, our membership is 50 and above. Um, they um, so I wanted to tweak it and they're mostly non-skeptic people. So I tweaked it a little bit. And uh, so, yeah, I got the yes. And I'm going to be giving that workshop uh, hopefully next Where's semester. February, I think you said, right? I don't know yet. She's oh, okay. still making it up. Um, so it'll be next semester. That's great news. Very good news. Um, I The last thing I have is you might have saw I got my article in L. Jane, I told Jane, Jane cracks me up. We we're sitting down. I was telling her something about, oh, yeah, I think there's this magazine called Elle, and they're eventually going to, I think it's going to be out in October. She was like, that, that is huge. huge. That's a huge deal, Susan. I was like, oh, I guess it is. <laughs> it was like a year ago. I Anyway, so I had many interviews with this with the, our, um, the reporter, and the article that came out uh, is so different from what we expected when we went in with it so it was very interesting and uh it is uh, <clears throat> i had to drive a half an hour to get the magazine it's full of perfume oh <laughs> oh my god i'm just i i had it open i was gonna leave it open so i could start getting the smell out of it but now i just opened it up again i'm like what Hey, Judy, that's, all about, her, that's all about their audience your neighbor's yard i, I kind of don't want to Pull them out. I wanted to kind of just leave them in because it's like, you know, what was that, Bill? Uh, that's all. It's all about their audience who, who they sell to. Well, that's what Jane was well, saying. Yeah. Photocopy, I, I, photocopy it and then put the magazine in a Ziploc bag and never look at it again. So, all, it. so the perfume will always be there for me fresh when I open Forever, it. Forever. Uh, and you can read the article. I, I think the article copy. I think the article was good. And I also think the the length, you know, after you think about it, the length was perfect because the audience that's that's going to read that magazine, they're going to read that one page and that's are you it. talking about the headline? It says no. mediums are the new therapists. I think people are going to want that. Yeah, they're gonna and, and they're going to read one page. They're not going to read three page or four pages. They're going to read that one page. And there, and so I think the length is good. I, it, she's probably right. And the beauty of it is, and I've got this, I, I could send it if anybody really wanted to read it, or it's on my Facebook page. You just have to blow it up, but I could send you the actual page. But here's the page. There's pictures, art on this side, picture on, uh, here's the text. I have this much of it. It's the right in the middle at the top. It's like your eye goes right to it when you're looking at the article. And she gave me, cool. I got the best quotes. So uh, it's yeah. a pretty good article. So yeah, it's from here, the very almost the beginning, like the first paragraph, all the way down to that end of that paragraph. So I got a lot of words for an article. But you know and what? The author agrees with you. 
Yeah, I think you're probably right. Yeah, it's she gets, or the reporter or whatever. Or, yeah. yeah, she was. She's a neurologist. She's writing a book on neurology. She's an actual scientist. So it was very surprised to see that she was Which, giving any credence to, at all to some outdated like, study. Well, she kind of said there. Well, there are these studies that show that they're not all that great studies. It, well, she immediately said that it was placebo effect. So. Yeah. Uh, that's about well, as that is about as negative as you can get, well, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, you're oh right. yeah, but placebo effect. Some people seek it out to help cure themselves. Well, if if you can get better with a placebo, all the you know more power to just you. fine. But if you're depending on the placebo effect uh, for something serious, that's not a good idea. Yeah, and, and people and, who. The who question like is, it, do you want understand. to spend, I'm sorry. No, go ahead. Uh, go the ahead. question is, do you want to spend thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars <laughs> on that to get that placebo effect and make yourself feel better? <laughs> Good point, Jean. So anyway, it's a really interesting article. I'm waiting for it to come out like on a link somewhere so that I can share it easy. And I want to do a video for my channel, but I I'm waiting for that to happen. But anyway, it's very interesting. And, and Jane was absolutely right. This is an audience that normally would never hear anything like this. It is a very, uh, I, I think it's it's concise, like you say. And I got I got my more than two, two seconds of skepticism out there. But I can tell um, if there's like a surge of people looking for your your name and, and interest in your in your um who you are and i i don't have it it's um we use wikipedia stats for um as a true indication of how many times somebody's searching for your name and they find your wikipedia page and then it gives you stats i don't have any bump i have one bump for one day but it is not not enough and um, nobody's approached me so i if mm. people are looking for it and saying oh wow this woman's a straight shooter and i want to hear more about her her work she's done it hasn't happened yet. Maybe it'll come out. I don't know, but no, you, you got to get on. You got to get on TikTok. I sent Adrian a thing on manifestation today, which has three hundred thirty-one thousand likes, and this is a, a woo-woo person talking about the subject of manifestation. Yeah, and law it of says, attraction. Witches call it spells. Christian call it prayers. Spiritualists call it manifestation. Atheists call it the placebo effect. <laughs> scientists call it quantum <laughs> physics but it's real uh, and you should stop arguing about its name there it is you know but you kind of wonder a little of it is people are looking at it that are like what the hell what's this woman talking about who are from the more scientific mm -hmm. going so it's hard sure. to tell i have a uh, one <laughs> video i just made just before i came on to do trivia it's now got um refreshing 32 views it's psychic matt fraser manipulates a grieving woman it's really sad but the thing is, is somebody suggested it to me in the comment section of my youtube channel and i was just i've been going back and forth with this guy for a day and he doesn't get it he thinks it's <laughs> helping because the person leaves the reading and they're they're happy and they're crying and i'm like well that's manipulation and that's you're lying to the person anyway so we're going back and forth so i show the video and and so Anyway, that just came out. If you're a subscriber to my channel, you'll be able to see it. And I think it's interesting. It's only 13 minutes long, which is short for me. And I get really pissed <laughs> off. So if you want to see somebody pissed off, if you want to see me pissed off, this is your video. Okay. <laughs> so this back and forth, Susan, mm -hmm. that you're, you're talking about, oh, is that in the cat. comments on YouTube or is it just something between you and him? No, no, it's called, it's, if you look at the Matt Frazier uh, playlist on my channel, mm -hmm. which is only like five videos, yeah, he's, he watched um, the interview I did with um, Kenny Biddle, uh, Operation Peach Pit, and ah. he commented under the, underneath that saying, you didn't show Matt Frazier his reading at all. All you're doing is talking about something else. You don't prove he's a charlatan. And I said, well, this video is not about that. It's about a sting we did right you have to look at the other playlist so he goes through them and then he gives this guy gives me a, like a video to watch watch this and so i look at it and i and i went through and i did a live blog there's like six comments for me of what's happening in the video i'm watching and then he comes back and says that's not the video i gave you to watch it's this one so i went back to his original thing and it's changed the video is a different video now so he doesn't want to argue about it so i go back to that one and i said you're editing your art you're editing your comments 
after I've already read them. So, you know, anyway, he just, he says, I love what you did with Thomas John. I think that's excellent. And there are charlatans, but Matt Frazier's the real deal. So it's James mm -hmm. John Prague. So it's just like, mm -hmm. what? oh my gosh. I just can't believe it. Yeah. Anyway, so here we go. Thank you, Kat, for bringing your crystal earrings for me today. That's very sweet. Okay. So are we ready to start back? I'm ready. If you guys are ready. Thank you for indulging me for the moment. I have to get that smell out. <laughs> it's like three different very strong perfumes in one minute. I think I can smell it all the way over here. It's awful. <laughs> oh my gosh. And, but uh, boy, it's an interesting looking starts at that. passing out. We're all gonna start passing well, out. Considering the number of different perfumes thing they put in there, how can you possibly identify a specific perfume? sample is something you like, like you're supposed to yeah. wipe it on your arm and it's got these little tabs you pull out ah. and, then, and then it's got the perfume you smear it on your body i guess and then ah. no thank you i didn't think you, i didn't know that you you need to start <laughs> subscribing to l magazine and you'll learn these things carl and you can start writing categories on them models huh. oh the photography i mean adrian cindy you guys kevin no i mean the photography to me is just so and the outfits. One woman, I swear, is wearing curtains. <laughs> <laughs> and we will all be wearing curtains then in a few months. Oh, yeah. I think the <laughs> the <laughs> latest wear for uh, weddings for guests is is a is a tutu, apparently. <laughs> well, tutus were in, weren't they? You, you uh, maybe they look, are. I don't know. I don't see enough people. Who that have get been in for about 12 years now. Tutus? They, uh, so, see, I don't, so get, I don't curtain, go... I'm in the country, is. so what is a tutu? We're not in a country. It's a tutu. Well, kind a of relative costume? to the city. ballet dress, yes. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Well, I only yeah. ever see tutus at like... fun runs, so I don't know. Can you see that? Look at that. That is a curtain. She's wearing like upholstery or something. So so Susan. <laughs> and then and look, you ever I'm seen the really... classic classic Carol Burnett where she's wearing the curtain? Uh, yeah. I saw it in the window. I just with the wind. Yeah, look there we this. go. Look at this. This is this is one of those baby blankets you got when you had a baby that had all that. It's like the it's got like that. What is that satin around the outside? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's one of those baby blankets right there. That's all it is. And then she, and then she's got like this is what you put on the curtains for the fringy thing with the. She's wearing the official cord to your fringe. She's so stupid. <laughs> well, Susan, and all those magazines. They make the fashion for the magazines. They don't expect people in real life to wear that stuff. Here, look. Look, I'm putting this napkin on me right now. Look. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm a fashion, I'm a fashion model now. Look. Yeah. You know, it's like those those fashion shows. Take my for, picture for, now. For me to buy you as a fashion <laughs> model, you'd have to lose half your weight and develop a heroin problem. I'd have to lose more Either than that half or, my weight. Or I have to, to lose like 75% of my weight. Thank you very much. <laughs> If you develop a heroin problem first, you can easily lose yeah. that weight. <laughs> no, thank you. I'm good, good point. Good I'm good, point. thanks. And I'm, I got to lose a lot of years, too. First thing first. <laughs> for heroin first. <laughs> this is not a suggestion for those people out there watching. No. Did you just see that Trump's uh, wife renegotiated her uh, no. prenuptial yeah. agreement? Yeah. yeah. No. Yeah. Yes, he needs, he, he needs her back. To help his election, so when? she negotiated like just the last couple of days. She renegotiated her prenup mm -hmm. to get more money. Oh, okay, yeah. so to make that sure that if he loses he's all not his gonna money, have she's any money. Have money. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. She's making sure she gets money, even if he. She's got a tell-all book. Let me tell you that case, Cassidy Hutchinson book. They said she, her her lawyers, no, you weren't kidding. Her lawyers have renegotiated twice. We wow. just find out about it. Bill said it was excellent. You're not kidding. It's excellent. I read hey. it. I read it in a couple few hours. <clears throat> and she does a wonderful interview too. Oh, she sure does. I just saw her on Jimmy Kimmel. The uh, Rod yeah. sent it to me, and I I don't like Jimmy Kimmel at all. I thought he was so stupid asking her stupid questions, but she looked wonderful. She's so healthy now and everything. Boy, what a nightmare she went through. You got to read the book. It's really good. And, and well, she's still going through it. She has to have, you know, 24 hour protection of some right. regard because every time she goes and does one of these, the books out, there's people who could kill her. But the yeah. books are sold out. That's so Yeah, awesome. I can't get it in Canada. Yeah, it's, it's, it says uh, delivery date pending on Amazon. Mm -hmm. Somebody told me it'll be I, 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 the 31st. 
I, oh. I downloaded the Kindle version, so yeah, uh, I can get the Kindle, Kindle or the audio, and you'll have it. Even that's yeah. sold out. <laughs> but it's I so exciting. Been, I've been reading it, and I'm only up to the part as you're still talking about her life, and you really can see how she ended up where she did when you mm. hear her. Oh yeah, of her life it gets story. worse too, Gail. It's very interesting. She leaves out yeah. a lot, so you have to read in between the lines. But she really. Oh man, it's very good. It's well done. It's it's too it, bad her father was such a jerk. Yeah, I'll say anything. Lost oh. you're going out too far. What an interesting character he is. Wow. <clears throat> anyway, <throat> we're back. That's so I've funny. already given permission to Romero, who is very quietly, peacefully sitting there, remaining as like these people keep going and talking. So Romero, it's all yours. All right. Uh, do we want to get muted or? No, tell us what the category is so we can moan and groan oh. about it. <clears throat> okay, the category is uh, sex. Ooh. Yay! Moan and groan. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> different, <laughs> different kind of moaning. We've never yeah. had a category on sex before. This I did the be... birds and bees. Oh, you did, but that wasn't quite. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to mute everybody. Remember, uh, Romero, you will be muted. In three, two, one. All right. Uh, all right. So number one, let's see. Uh, humans use the XY sex determination system. There are other animal species that use the ZW system. What is the difference between these two systems? And I'm supposed to put the questions in before. Yeah, because you know how Janine gets. All right. Uh, number two. We all humans like it have, too, but we want to blame Janine. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Uh, number two, humans have two types of gametes that can pair up to produce offspring, the sperm and the ovum. In 2022, it was discovered that, that uh, Tricaptum, a group of woody play-like mushrooms, have more than two types of gametes that can pair to produce offspring. How many types of gametes did they estimate this mushroom has? And I gave uh, plus or minus 10%. All right, number three. Humans have two sex chromosomes, X and Y. There is an animal species that has 10 sex chromosomes. X1, Y1, X2, Y2, X3, Y3, X4, Y4, X5, Y5. What is this strange animal that is also weird in so many other ways? All right, number four. In humans, the XY chromosomes evolved from a pair of autosomes about 180 million years ago. The Y chromosomes have been shrinking since then. Uh, while this is still debated, some, science, some scientists think that the Y chromosome might become extinct, switching humans from the XY to the X0 sex determining system. When do they expect this to happen? A, five million years, B, 50 million years, or C, 200 million years. All right, uh, number five. Each vertebrate species, as a general rule, has either the X, Y, or the ZW sex determination systems. This species is an exception, progress, possessing both sex determining combinations within one species. Name the species or the country where it was discovered. So I accept the country or the species. Right, number six. Many species of fish begin life as one sex and later in life change to a different sex known as sequential hermaphrodites. They can be uh, protagonists, female to male, protandrous, male to female, or serial, bi bidirectional, so they can go both ways. A famous story involving a curious member of this kind of fish was taken by a pair of scuba divers. What kind of sequential her hermaphroditism was he an example of? All right, number seven. In 1992, an otherwise healthy 29-year-old woman showed up to Cornell Medical Center to be treated for a respiratory tract infection. 
Her lab tests indicated that her testosterone was more than twice the average value for a healthy male. It was later discovered that her karyotype was 46XY, which was news to her. Her condition is known as complete blank insensitivity syndrome. So you have to fill in the blank. For, for number six, are you asking for the species of fish or if it's male to female or female to male? Or bidirectional? So number six, there's three options and you're supposed to pick one of those three options, uh, protagonist, pr protandrous, or serial. The word story in that same question seems odd to me. Is there another word? That is a perfect question. We will discuss this later, Rob Palmer. Rob Palmer, that is an excellent question. No, so because this is a story. No, 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 during development, an embryo starting uh, as XY can, for unknown reasons, lose the Y chromosome in some of its cells. If the majority of the resulting cells are X instead of XY, the embryo will develop into a female. This condition was named after this doctor who shares a last name with a famous female singer. Blank syndrome through mosaicism is the name of this condition. All right, number nine. In 2014, scientists identified the second case of cisquizygotic twins, also known as semi-identical twins. The mother's ovum was fertilized by two sperm from the father. An ultrasound at six weeks showed she was pregnant with twins. An ultrasound at 14 weeks shocked the doctors and led them to investigate further and confirm the case of semi-identical twins. What did they see at six and 14 weeks? One second. And then number 10, in which of these species is sex never determined by chromosomes? A, bearded dragon, B, python, D, tautara, C, austro-south American side neck turtle, and you know, by chromosomes, I mean like sex chromosomes. It's not clear from that. Uh, all right, any any questions? I think I'm gonna learn a lot in this category too. Um, just so that we don't end up with confusion later, do you notice you have A, B, D, C? Did you want to change that, or you want to leave it that way? Which a, question? B, which question? The last one. Last one. Oh, I was going to say something, yeah, but, but somebody was going to say it was perfect that way. So, <laughs> oh, I now let me change it. A, B, C, D. You want to change the letters or the? Okay. Oh, you got yeah. it. Thanks. Good job, Romero. All right. So let me open up the breakout rooms. And nobody said that's what she said. Ugh. We're growing up. We're adults now. You did. Oh, I need to. <laughs> I need to be changed into my room. Oh, I can do it too. Room mm -hmm. two. Room two. Yes. So I only know number minutes, six, <laughs> but I think I know one. I think number three. I'm guessing. I, I have a guess for five and nine. So my guess. Or three is as platypus, but I could be. Yeah, that was my guess. That's too. the first thing I thought of too. Yeah. So. Wow, what an interesting creature that is. Other than that, I don't know a single one of these. Well, six is Nemo. No, six is bidirectional. Well, it's it's a clownfish. <laughs> Right, it, but he's asking which one of the three. I know, but it's from Nemo. Right, yeah. So, so we just so he, we have to know which bidirectional. One. They can switch. Yeah. Back Cereal. and forth. Serial bidirectional. Yeah. Rob almost gave it away with this, this comment about his story. Um, number five, I wanted to guess Brazil. 
just because the Amazon rainforest is there. Uh huh. Let's see. This species is an exception for possessing both sex determined combinations within one species. Name species or country where it was. I don't know. Seven. That sort of sounds familiar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know the name of the I don't know the name of the condition. Or seven. <clears throat> yeah. It's when I got sort of oh. Okay, wait. Semi identical twins. I think it's um, I think what they noticed is that there were two placentas. So with hmm. with twins with twins, they either share, there's always one placenta mm -hmm. um, with the exception of if they're identical, they'll have one placenta that they share or you know, they'll have one placenta that they share, but they'll be in two separate amniotic sacs. Uh -huh. So yeah. that's how you can, if they're identical, they'll be inside the same amniotic sac. Okay. So they saw it six and 14 weeks, two placentas? That's what I'm guessing, because that would indicate my, well, hold on. In 10, we have one of, we have at least multiple choice. <laughs> I don't know, but we have. So you think for nine, it's they had there were two two amniotic sacs, and, and is that something you could see in a in a placentas? I think or two placentas. I think it would be two placentas. Wow, that's a heavy lift. That's what I'm getting. Bed, bed, um, put on bed rest a bit. Actually, no, no. What they probably saw. I probably got this wrong. What they probably saw is two twins sharing the same amniotic sac, but one had a penis and the other had a vagina. Oh, okay. That but would be my guess. Clear and could tell, you know, six because you can you can weeks. tell you can tell on the well you can tell on the outline. So like my friend's mom, she was pregnant with twins, and how they knew that they weren't identical is because there was two there was that they were like two separate amniotic sacs, which means that two eggs were fertilized. Yeah. If you saw two babies inside one amniotic sac, it meant that it was an egg that divided itself in half. So they'd be the same gender. So yeah, so they would have to be the same, the same sex. So what I'm assuming is that they saw is two babies of the opposite sex inside one um, placenta or in one amniotic sac, which would not make sense of how we, how we know identical twins to be well my question would be and I, I don't challenge that except that i'm saying it six weeks or 14 weeks is so early and that if you're looking at a female right. i tell you right. the, the the luva is just it could be look like a penis and how could they be so clear on what they're seeing? Well, they yeah, and they can't always see it either. Yeah, but it could be something. I mean, especially at six weeks or fourteen. That's so. Early. The other thing is, is that mm -hmm. it's the one ovum fertilized with two sperm, yeah. which is not what normally happens with an identical twin. It's same, like you said, it yeah, it divides yeah. completely, and and that's how sometimes how you get ones that are not completely divided. But but if the if there were two there was one ovum but two sperm that's that's weird well that's what i said they've only seen this the second time they've seen this happen yeah this is really weird so that that could be how it would they would be different genders yeah so how would because you that? The, each 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 yeah but how i don't know how that works <laughs> how's everybody doing romero uh, they say they might be tough. Uh, yep, I was <laughs> going to tell you that. 
I'm they're tough, but no, it's interesting. We're having so everybody much. likes to talk about sex, though, so that's okay. <laughs> well, before I go, my only other input is number four. I would think uh, 200 million years would be a lot or too much because, I mean, like two to 500 million years ago, wasn't that when the earth was still just full of volcanoes, basically? Do you think it's mm. only five million years? I well, I just think two hundred million is too much. I could I be wrong. No, because he's saying that they found chromosomes evolved from a pair of autosomes one hundred and eighty million years ago. So, well, maybe let's just go with B fifty million. Go with B. Sounds good to me. Um, Deborah, how did you want to say thanks, Carol? But, but but they're saying about in humans, though. That's what. Okay. Okay. I see what you're so when, when he said the Y chromosome was shrinking, I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, that's why I was like, I don't, we weren't even around. It's very far away. Yeah. <laughs> Carolyn, when, do, tiny, Carolyn, when tiny, do you get this icon? I am getting there Wednesday. Apologize. Me too. Uh, I don't think uh, Robin's not coming until um, in the afternoon. So till Thursday, four, I think. And yeah. Yeah. Are you getting there Wednesday, what time? I can't remember exactly. It's the middle of the day, though. Okay. How about yeah. you? I, I decided I'm not going early and I'm not going late. Are you, so. are you talking about PsyCon? Yeah. yeah. You're not going. No. We, we're, we're in the process of trying to get our roof replaced on our house. So oh. I can yeah. understand that. Yeah. That's kind of important. Having a roof over your head is important. And then we have That's all cool. these like other trips and stuff. Yeah, and we have... Here. We had other trips and we had some unexpected expenses this year. So I'm only, we're only staying a couple of days. That was as much as we could budget for. So, wow. Yeah. But, but at least we're going. Yeah. You're going. Faith Romero. Wow. We're going to be missing you. Yeah. So much fun. We'll try to come next year. We'll just talk about you. That's okay. <laughs> um, let's see. Maybe, maybe somebody will have a chance winning the Halloween contest. Now that uh, Romero won't be there. Let's see. I'm getting. Oh shoot. Okay. Could number here. one be that it's not either sex can have the chromosome? <laughs> it's like with the ZW that it's not like. I don't know. I don't know any. Oh, the difference between the two systems. Yeah, like, I never even I, heard of ZW. I don't think I haven't heard of it either. So. Too early. Okay, you guys I get into Las Vegas talk. about three o'clock. Good Thank luck, Carolyn. Thanks, thanks for thanks for hanging around. <laughs> Take care. <laughs> Watch the video. We'll have the answers. X Y sex determination system. Is Z W? Is that? Fine. Z W system. Well, what would make sense? There's... Could they be they... because the X, the Z, and W have something to do with it can change or something? I have no idea. I have no idea. But it would seem like it'd be okay, that kind. Well, question, yeah, well, question five says the species can either have X, Y, or Z, W. And it has both sex determining combinations. So my guess is that maybe ZW allows for it to change. That's what I'm thinking too. Sexes. Yeah. It's, there's there's more options. There's options. <laughs> yeah, that it can like the clownfish, like it can go from one to the other. It makes it easier for them to change their their sex, sexual characteristics. Well, that's that's better than I would have come up with. I wonder if it's um, you know, those there are animals that the um the gender is like it changes based on what's kind of needed in the environment of their species. Like yeah, like there's a bunch of fish, and there's uh, suddenly they're all boys, and they're like, well, wait a minute, we're not gonna have any more fish if we just all stay boys. And so. that's what, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is ZW <laughs> probably allows for them to change, for some of them to change change their yeah. sex, yeah, to change their sex to make um, it more. I would yeah. say for number two, 
He's wanting plus or minus 10%. So if it's like 100, we could do 90 to 110. Which number is that? Number two. No, oh, number two. And I would say it's probably something like 100 at least. We actually did a program where we talked with um, like how to do mushroom foraging and mushrooms are really, really freaking cool. <laughs> what, do you, yeah. what percentage are you putting? What I would say 100 probably, but it's probably mm -hmm. more than that. Well, it's... So I hope you're keeping all this stuff written down. I've gotten um... it written down. Oh, good, because I'm starting I'm to a little bit down. Number five. Do we put I, something for one? What was one? We put like they can change sex. Okay. Like after they're already hatched or whatever. Yes, five after they're already. Brazil. Yeah. Six five was Brazil. Directional. Seven. Complete. No idea. I've never even heard of that. Complete. Seven. Nothing sounds. Maybe it was like complete testosterone insensitivity syndrome. Hmm. Or yes, in anything. Yeah, because that's then it allowed her to have more than. Well, the fact it's possible that she could have. Um... Yeah, let's say testosterone. That's his, yeah. Because that oh, would be I, my guess that if her testosterone was twice as high, that she was insensitive not, to the testosterone yeah. level keeping everything else. Yeah. And if if it had been obvious, they wouldn't have waited so long to discover it. I wonder if she had hair and could lift cars off of people and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> During development, we are starting as XY can, for unknown reasons, lose the Y chromosome in some of its cells. Is it X and so? What would be Parton? Dolly it's Parton true. syndrome. Is there such a thing? No, it's not named after the singer. It's just his last name is the same as the, a famous Barton singer. Barton syndrome? Through mosaicism? The only way I'm going to... Uh, Taylor Swift, like Swift syndrome or something. It's going to be something... That's the only way I'm going to figure it out. It's just name some... All right, let's go with Parton. Parton? I'm guessing. Okay. Sure. Um, And 10. Streisand's already taken, right? Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> what do we have for nine? We have nine. Sentence. We can come back to oh, placenta. I, oh, that's right. Could it be like two placenta? That's would be the thing. And then ten. Yeah. And ten. Uh, with the right lettering no system. No well, idea. That was a question. I, was gonna say. I, I want to say Python, maybe. You know, I went to yeah. Python first. I don't know why, but I, I'm not know. sure even what a tuatara is. So, an Astro South American side neck turtle sounds like something he just found somewhere and just copied and pasted it in there. That's <laughs> pretty <about>. specific. <laughs> Let's go with Python. Yeah, I've never, right. I don't know if I've ever seen a sex of a. But, and I'm not sure about number nine. An ultrasound at 14 weeks shot the doctors. I think we've talked to, to and, and it's going to be close. So the Can ovum was one? fertilized by two sperm from the father. Because it has to do something with the placenta or the amniotic sac. Yeah. And the reason I th I think the only reason I think placenta is more likely is is that it's probably easier to see. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is it's just but knowing dogs. knowing it's what I know about amazing. twins, they always share one placenta, and it's always you determine if they're identical or not by how many amniotic sacs there are. 
Right. So it would look weird if there would was be very strange. At it would be decade. very strange if you saw two placentas. Yeah, that's I, why I think yeah. it sounds right. Yeah. Just only only because of the age, because your other reasoning kind of made sense. Yeah. But not at six or fourteen weeks. Six and four. Yeah, because you're not going to be able to see any form. There's not much there. Yeah. Placentas. They, they look. They look like little alien. Well, little kidney beans. Kidney beans. Yeah. <laughs> Something could be. They They don't even resemble anything that looks like humans. Well, I know some humans. They could, they could be fish <laughs> or side neck turtles or something. Oh, they could be Astro South like, American side turtles. Have you, side have neck you, turtles. Have you, have you seen the, um, like, because that was one of the interesting things. Like, they would show us pictures, like, tell which one is the human at 14 weeks. And oh, it was like, yeah. that's the human. It's like, no, that's a horse. So this is what <laughs> that will grow up to be. So this is not a baby. <laughs> no. Well, it's a baby horse. Mm -hmm. Are you pretty much done? Or? Yeah, we're done. Yeah, we're, we're done. done. This was very yeah. hard. It was hard, but it was a good, difficult, <laughs> but it was very good in a good way. I was, was a little fun. disappointed because I really thought we were going to talk about sex, but I'm going to run <laughs> out to my did. car real quick. I, I'm very Just, proud uh, that you didn't bring up Klein Felcher syndrome at all through all of this, that you found really obscure things. <laughs> I'm very proud of you. All right, then. Was that because you knew he that you you knew he knew we, you we know what had, it was? <laughs> I didn't know what the category was, but we have had talks about sex and stuff in the animal kingdom, just largely because of arguments some people are making and trying to figure out where the logical fallacies are. Because hmm. there's a lot of people that are upset about the changing definition that sex is a binary spectrum. Oh, yeah, the whole gender it, sex thing. Yeah. yeah, and we were talking about that. And I had mentioned to Ramiro that, like, everybody got upset at, upset when we def changed the definition of a planet. And the same thing is happening now when we're changing <laughs> what the definition of sex. Like, and we can That's do that, guys. That's we, true. We, we, we put Pluto in his own category so we can kind of, you know. Yeah. You know, we, I... I, I for the most part, I kind of, I kind of go. Fish, this stuff is normal. I, I, for the most part, I'm like, why would people care? You know, I mean, I would the, the people who are are who are in those situations care, but why should other people care? Like, why should I care? And I think it's it's from a is. position of ignorance. It's like looking at yeah. these questions. I've learned a lot. I like. I had no idea there was a ZW system. Like, yeah, yeah. I thought it was just X, Y, but there's so much we don't know, so much we need to learn, and science is about revision. Yep, 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 yep. But some people don't think that anything but people are matter, so, you know. Interesting discussion, and that sure is uh, the other categories we've had tonight. That was very good. Hey, Susan, do you know Marcy uh, McClure? No. Here in town with the purple hair? Scientist, no. virologist? No? Should I? Well, I, I just thought you might. Um, so she's talked about these things to me many times. About sex? Shoo. Oh. About these, several of these, about four of these things, very specifically. So now you're going to be able to say, hey, I got this. Let me tell no, you. No, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> I was just going, mm -hmm, this wine is good. Dinner was great. Oh. <laughs> drink more wine so we can change the subject. You aren't, you aren't paying attention, in other words. Was I don't it? know anything about wine, so that would I'd rather talk about this than wine. I'm sorry, Marcy McClure. Wherever you are, Marcy. <laughs> if you watch Marcella. this video. <laughs> She's, on She's one of our subscribers, so I'm sure. <laughs> I don't know a lot of people in Salinas. I find that fascinating, but I don't. I'm just absolutely inept mm. when it comes to socialization here in town. All right, Romero, what right. you got for us? All right, I'm going to share my screen. Okay. Um, can you see my screen? I right. can oh. see your screen. What is he doing? Okay, they're uh, they're having sex. It looks like a mirror. Or they're both smiling. <laughs> they look very happy that's good she's gonna devour him after what are you talking about <laughs> well she's happy anyway <laughs> hunger one is on top of the other if you've noticed I can't really that's not a mirror image 
Yeah, it looked like a yeah. Okay. They're stacking. That's what we call sex in the bug world. They're stacking. You guys have uh, conversations about bug sex often, Faith? Well, you know, a group of gnats when they're swarming don't ever walk or run through those because they're having a massive orgy when they do that. They're all I having used, sex. I, I, learned that. That. I, used to, I used to swing at them with my field hockey stick. Hmm. <laughs> all right. So number like, one. <laughs> all right. So number one, uh, the answer is the XY. Uh, in, in the XY system, sperm determine the sex. In the ZW system, hmm. the ovum determine the sex. Oh. And uh, this is just a simplification, you know, um, it's actually a little bit more complicated, but uh, yeah, so in mammals is XX and males are XY, birds, for example, that use the ZW system, females are ZW and males are ZZ. This is mm. what we said, but not as simple, not, not put down as simply as this, so. Yeah, I just said XY chromosome, they're reversed. To, and to avoid confusion, they use W and it's in birds. So is that close enough? Uh, I mean, I, I think you have. Because I think I was that's... looking for I was looking for anything that, you know, describes that uh, basically you say like males determine the sex of the offspring in right. one system and females determine the sex. Yeah, of we the almost got it right. We, we, we guess that either yeah. could determine mm -hmm. the sex. We almost had it. Uh, not, yeah. In one, the female has a matching chromosomes, and the other, the male has a matching chromosomes. Right. So, right. so yeah. is this in all birds, by the way? Mm -hmm. I think uh, so. I don't know if it's in all birds. Uh, I, I couldn't find find it, but it's certainly not in all mammals that uh, there's a that is like this. I think it is all birds. If I I just finished reading the the a really great or listening to a really great book called Different. By a primatologist by Franz de Waal, and he talks about this very thing, and he talks about birds. So my, my my follow up question is: since birds are dinosaurs, does that mean all the dinosaurs were this? And and oh, you yeah. beat me to the punch, Rob. Yeah, and then then like they they came from reptiles, reptilian kind. Like so, do are any reptiles this this form of Z, ZW? Yeah, some reptiles have a ZW system. Yeah. Some reptiles have the XY system. There you go. Yeah. Interesting. Huh. And uh, they. They thought that the, the platypus has a chromosome that's in birds only, not in mammals. So they thought that there was a like a connection there between platypus and birds. But I think Is they, that why they lay like eggs? Like that. Uh, <laughs> not quite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, I'm just looking it up quickly, and it does say that it's just the opposite. It's XX and males are XY. So it's like the reverse. Mm, yeah, okay. Yeah. I probably didn't quite get it. Yeah. I mean, I think the key is that uh, the Basically, females are the, the ones. The female gamut that determines the sex. Mm -hmm. Interesting. <laughs> All right. Ready for number two? So, mm -hmm. num mm -hmm. number two, the number is 17,500. Jesus. Oh. oh. <laughs> I ran out of. We were close. Oh. Yeah, I ran we were out not. I we weren't close either. I was no. thinking it was going to be something outrageous like that, but we were like, "Let's just get on." Will you have? Will you have any mercy if oh we God. were seven hundred and ninety-five away <laughs> and we're the only people that got that close? Yeah, we said fifteen thousand. Oh my God! I thought that was uh, outrageous. I mean, I, mean, yeah, I mean, I gave you a pretty, you know. Yeah, so here's a picture of oh two of those uh, gamete types. So this one is TF10135M2. Jesus, trigger one getting to show with that stuff live. <laughs> <laughs> right. we, we already saw the copulation one. So Triggered now. All right. So I, I read that you know most most of them are below 10, but for some reason this one is it's like crazy. really weird. And they don't understand why there's yeah. so many uh gamete types. <laughs> That's crazy. All right. Uh yeah, number it's three. Alien. So it's Cle clearly it's the alien. Platypus. Yay. Yay. Yeah. Yay, we got one Yay. right. Oh, yeah, so look at that. Aren't they cute? So adorable. Mm. 
But they're poisonous. If it wasn't weird already. Yeah, they're, they're uh, so venomous. Cute. And they lay eggs, mm -hmm. and they, I think they have like an electrical system that they can detect their prey with. Mm -hmm. So they're strange animals. Also aliens. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's obvious. Yeah. And these are like kind of like what their chromosomes look like, and like males are still like uh, Where? X1, Where? Y1, X2, Y2, and females are X1, X1, you know, so and so on. So the, all the X's paired together, all the Y's paired together, and they still don't understand how that works. And the babies I, uh, are called Puggles. <laughs> Puggles. <laughs> Right, number four. Um, yeah, good. So they think that it's five million years, and uh, how they arrive at that is that they just extrapolate how it's been shrinking, and you know that's what they estimate. But uh, you know, some scientists it's think old. that it's probably not going to happen because some scientists think that it might have been stable for the past twenty-five million years. Right, right, right. Yeah. But it's not a crazy thing because it has been observed in like this little guy called the the spiny rat. Uh, hmm. Like their Y chromosome disappear in the sex determining uh, uh, part of the DNA move to other chromosomes. All right? Any questions? Okay. Uh, number five. So. Uh, this frog oh. is a frog and is from Japan. Uh, and oh, I, way off. <laughs> yeah, we weren't even close. I tried to wrap my head around like, what does it mean for one species to use both systems, and I still couldn't understand it. Uh, but I found a lot of articles that you know talked about how this particular species of frog uses both systems. So mm -hmm. scientists think that you know, periodically species can switch between systems from, from X, Y to Z. Again, I'm not saying it's alien, but. <laughs> <laughs> so we got are... it down to an island, right? There are several species of frogs that uh, if the male population disappears, the females will start uh, propagating anyway. Right. Yeah, that's, that's, that. that's, that's, yeah. that's what they did in Jurassic Park. And, you yep. know, of course, they, they had used frog embryos or something. So, yeah, that's that was the that excuse for, for why really the dinosaurs good. were able to procreate, even though they were designed not to. Yeah. And uh, in aquariums, mollies will do that, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, nobody's going to do that. Me. All right. Number six. So the answer is... Uh, Protandrus oh, or crawfish. Yay, Brandy. Yeah. I was referring to the story uh, of Finding Nemo. I knew oh. that, which is why I was trying to get Rob to shut up. <laughs> uh, so I yeah, said there's... it's Nemo, but I didn't, we didn't get the thing right, though. Yeah, yeah we these did. These are examples of the other types of... I thought uh... we put it bi-directional. We put bi-directional. Oh, we did? Oh, I'd, I'd written down all those things. <laughs> That's how you have score, right? You write them all down. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I yeah, wasn't the official fish, scorekeeper, uh, so that's okay. These coral gobby, uh, they're um, monogamous, so they're just a pair. And then when one of them dies, the other one goes and finds another partner. And, uh, you know, they change sex if they're the same sex if they find the same sex wow. i love clownfish i think they're mm. some of the most pretty things mm -hmm. i just love mm. them all right number seven uh is androgen yeah. so the uh, oh, so condition is complete androgen insensitivity syndrome oh we were close it's just that the we're androgen close. receptor we on opposite. all of their cells <laughs> yeah. uh is not working so they hey. They just, uh, yeah, they're they're basically uh, they cannot see testosterone. Their cells cannot see testosterone. And uh, this woman, this woman Emily Quinn, gave a TED talk about it. And you know, she talks about like her experience growing up. Uh, it's pretty interesting, so I recommend watching it. I thought we were supposed to name the this the name. We said Parton. I said what? Dolly That's the Parton. next one. That's the next one. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Okay, never mind. I'm confused. Sorry. Just ignore Dolly me. Parton, we, said, we said testosterone for this one. 
Okay. Yeah. That, would, yeah. that would have been close because yeah. when you put that close. into Safari search, it will come up with androgen. Yeah. Uh, if you say testosterone mm -hmm. insensitivity syndrome, it will redirect you to androgen insensitivity. Mm. Yeah. So that's that's getting called called complete androgen insensitivity syndrome, which is mouthful. Yeah. I and you can find it. In, yeah. <laughs> I'll singer I know. Hmm. All right. So you want to see the singer? So the singer is T Turner yes. uh, syndrome. Uh, syndrome yes. from yes. Yeah, Brandy. Oh, Are I've you heard serious? Of Turner syndrome. Oh, is the, oh, this is like, oh, I know what Turner syndrome is. Oh, <laughs> now that I see it, it's Faith. obvious. Come on, oh, man. Man. Oh, was that Karen? I forgot. Somebody it was Karen. Karen it was Turner syndrome. It was Marcy. Men. <laughs> Marcy through Karen yeah. channeling. Marcella McClure. <laughs> so what was your so question? Just, again oh, on that the one? singer Tina Turner. And I was thinking like Tina Turner mm. syndrome in my head and didn't uh, see. Let's see the that's mm. question eight. Let me pull up the question itself. Um so during development, an embryo starting as XY can for unknown reasons lose the Y chromosome in some of its cells. If the majority of the resulting cells are X, just X instead of XY, the embryo will develop into female. Okay. So this condition was named after this doctor who shares a last name with a famous female singer. I don't see anything on those kids' faces. It looks like yeah, awesome. um, yeah, I wonder why they had those photographs of yeah. them. What they're oh, the, neck, the neck is supposed to be a, a little bigger. Uh, their little shoulder, longer. their eyes look a little different. I'm looking at the picture on Wikipedia and you can blow it up big and you can see it does. The <coughs> yeah, the eyes. So, I don't know if you could, it's hard to tell how you would just know that because it's not it's mm. so obvious. It's it's I mean, a spectrum condition. Like you, it's not like with um, trisomy 21 where you'll see everyone has the same kind of characteristics and features. It Because it's a mosaic condition it, and it only presents in some cells, some people may not have the facial features, any of the features, or even some of the other delays or cognitive impairments that can come with it. Because it mostly affects women. Well, it, if it happens in men, like it can't happen in men. The What does happen in men is where they have the extra X chromosome, and that is Klinefelter syndrome, and that generally comes with more profound um, delays and other issues with it. Like most wow. of those men are sterile. They can't, they can't procreate. Just imagine being a doctor and having to kind of be so mm -hmm. familiar with all this, that when somebody comes into mm -hmm. your, your yeah. place, you can look at them <laughs> and go, let me look at your hairline. Let me look at your neck. Let you send them to a geneticist, mm -hmm. you send them to a geneticist if there's anything and they'll mm -hmm. do yeah. this. And else, actually, uh, mm -hmm. like this Turner syndrome to mo mosaicism, um, so like uh, developing fetuses can lose like the Y chromosome in some of their cells, but if most of their cells are still XY, they just develop into a male. And if most of the cells are X, then they develop into a female. Uh, and that's, you know, what happens. Um, and wow, I think I was reading- One in 2000. Yeah. And I was reading too that uh, even in, in males, um uh, like some some of the cells in the body lose their y chromosome eventually like when you're age 70 uh some of your cells in your blood uh oh eventually wow. lose their, their y chromosome they show a picture of a woman with the webbed neck it's like it looks like something from one of those sci-fi movies or like creature from the black lagoon yeah it is really weird looking yeah interesting interesting All right so uh number 10 uh, nine nine uh, sorry nine, nine. nine. I, yeah. I saw 10 right oh. here Slide oh well, nine has those pictures of those kids okay yeah mm -hmm. so the what the doctor saw they saw a like one placenta so when they saw one placenta they thought oh it's identical twins but then they saw that later on at 14 weeks they saw they were male and female and so they're like, uh, mm, how is that possible? Uh, so yeah, so this is this is the only second confirmed case of this ever happening. But uh, oh. you know, like identical twins. Uh, there's one 
ovum and one, sp one sperm. Fraternal twins, there's two ovum, two, sp two uh, sperm. But with these types of twins, there's one ovum and two sperm, and they share like three quarters of a DNA. You know, instead of identical twins share 100%, fraternal twins share 50%. Oh, wow. So that implies that, and I didn't know this, that uh, identical twins have one placenta. All, all babies have one, all pregnancies have one placenta. With but if you have, if you have two, if you have twins that are, I, if you have twins that are identical, because my my mom has right. fraternal twins, fraternal right. twins will share one placenta, but there'll be two amniotic sacs. If oh. they're identical, they're in one amniotic sac. Oh, okay. okay. That, okay. That's how that's how they'll be able to tell if they're identical. Ah, so, got it. So the reason why this one was weird, and because we actually got it wrong, we should have gone with my first guess, is that they saw two babies with two different sexes in one amniotic sac, and that should not happen. Oh, got it. I mean, think I about that, because young. the ovum is supposed to not be, a, I mean, what are the odds that two sperm are, are making their way at the exact same time, because it, it's not supposed to have the capacity to take two sperm, uh, it closes off immediately. Yeah, uh, Happens really quick. There, there are several thousand sperm going at it at the same time. Yes, we're aware. We, we, we're, we're aware how <laughs> big it is here, Bill. Yeah, we're well, aware. But the well, odds of Let me finish, please. And <clears throat> supposedly, there's a chemical uh, trigger when one of those sperms succeeds. This is an instance when two got in there at the same time, right? Yeah, I always That's wondered what that I one. meant to say. But when I very first saw this, when I was a kid, I said, what would stop two from simultaneously doing it? I mean, if one happens first and there's a trigger, even then I knew, well, it takes a while for whatever the triggering is to make whatever happen. There have to be some instances where two would get in. And in fact, there is. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. And, uh, it, could it, could be more it could be more yeah, common than this and we just don't know that's it. That's what yeah. scientists think. Most uh, most embryos uh, don't live the, when this happens, but this uh, particular set of twins. So most embryos don't live anyway. Um, yeah, right. There's there's, there's more unplanned um, miscarriages. miscarriages right, right. But what he's birth. but what he's saying is that because I found a Google article about it is because if two sperm come in there mm -hmm. that have that have different chromosomes mm -hmm. if the splitting process doesn't occur correctly and the genetic material straightens itself out it's it's more likely to fail yeah yeah, yeah. so have three sets so you have three sets of chromosomes so what's the correct answer because this is coronic sac we clearly want to write that what's yeah. the correct answer to this that you would so have accept? this uh this is the exactly correct answer but i would take uh, uh one placenta and and Male and female, or so if you just have male and female, different sexes in one, yeah, one placenta. Or if you just have male and female, you want to take that one. Now you still need the one placenta because you you, you can have two sexes. You would it, it would just be twins. All pregnancies have one placenta. It doesn't matter if it's twins. Well, or so then why do we need the one placenta for? You don't need one. The corinic sac is what you're talking about is seeing two babies in one sac together that that are both different sexes, which should not happen. Uh, so this is di dichorionic twin pregnancy. And so this is okay. uh, like fraternal twins and they have two placentas and then monocryonic uh, twins, which are identical twins, they have one one okay. shared placenta. Okay. Mm -hmm. But the question already stated semi-identical. Yeah. So but that that have example in the identical in the answer. The the uh, sorry. If, semi if we acknowledge they're semi-identical, but one was male and one was female, shouldn't that be enough? Uh, well, no. Uh, I see what you're saying, but uh, what I was asking was like, how did the doctors know that something was wrong, right? So, uh, so I I was telling you that this was happening. Uh, hmm. What should I say? <laughs> hmm. 
I think if they I got know, they were two, if they noticed that the babies were two different sexes when they should not have been. All right. Right. Not Given the phrasing okay. of the question, I we see. didn't think it was necessary to explain. As long as we explain it right, were, am I yeah. identical? Whether we wrote it down yeah. exactly. I right. see what, what you're saying. Say, Carol. Yeah, I'll, there were two I'll different take... sexes in a, and it should have only been one sex. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that that's essentially yeah. what we said. They thought that's, they were yeah, two, the same sex at first, okay. and then they, then it was two sexes. No, he's got it right. Whatever it is, it's not going to help us. So let's get to yeah, we got. I will take. It. I will take two sexes then. Uh, All right. We'll have to put Thank you. <laughs> so does that mean we got it right after all that, Rob? Yes. Okay. Next. All right. So number ten is the Tau Tara. Oh. So that's oh. what the animal looks oh, like. Oh man, we didn't even know what that, that was. was. A lizard. It's a lizard. What is it? Or it's a toad. We didn't know what it was, so we took it. It's not so lizard, I, it's got a third eye on top of its head. Yeah. Cute. And um, yeah, so they uh oh, it's if the temperature's temperature less than oh. yeah, so if the temperature is less than 70 degrees, they're females. If the temperature is greater than 70 wow. degrees Fahrenheit, they're males. Uh pythons use the ZW system. Uh this site turtle uses the XY system, and then the Peter Dragon. Uh, uses the ZW system when the temperature is less than 80 degrees, and then if the temperature is more than 80 degrees, then they will become females. That's true of crocodilians and many sea turtles mm -hmm. also. Let's get, let's get to the point. And, and global warming might be a problem then. Yes. Ah, yeah. New Zealand, yeah. that, they're from New Zealand. <laughs> the turtles. Yeah. I'm, so, I think so, that Taurus, what are in the uh, mm -hmm. Museum in um, New Zealand. Oh, what am I trying to think of? The city Auckland, where, where the South Island at the end of the South Island, where um, Christchurch. No, Lil where Lil Lillian and uh, Cherie okay. live. Yeah, I think Cherie's mother took me to see them at the museum in oh, like Dunedin or something. It's lower than that. Further She's south. Than further that? south. Okay. What am I? I can't think of the name of the place. Well, there's Picton and it's right where we flew. Really where I brought the, the boat out to Stewart Island. Invercargo. Yeah, Invercargo. <laughs> yeah. I thought that was what we saw there. And they're not lizards, they're like their own separate. Interesting. Lineage. Uh -huh. Um, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> if you grill them, do you make steak to Tara? Oh, man. Uh. No, because uh, isn't, so isn't steak to Tara not grilled? That sounds like something you have to do. That's right. not steak to Tara was, right, was uh, raw. It has to be raw, raw yeah. Right. It's still funny. So the yeah. answer is <laughs> no is, to your question, Carl. It is amusing, yes. Oh my gosh. All right. Good job. I learned a lot. I'm not sure it'll, I'll retain it all, but I might mm. be able to nod I'm if amazed. I ever meet this person that, that Karen was talking about. I might be able to go, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, mm. I, I kind of get it. Hi, Karen. You feel a little better now? You'll say, I think, I think I get it. Okay. So let's do our bad joke, Carl. And then you can tell that joke. Bill, I don't think we got nine. Do you? I don't know. I don't I don't I don't think we were specific enough. We didn't have the one placenta with the two. No, we already talked oh, that through. No, no. no. I, I, yeah, you didn't get it. You're right, Janine. You didn't get it. Okay, so <laughs> McCarthy is replaced with Alexa. She's a speaker who can run the house. God, the jokes are just incredible. I can't even imagine. Those Republicans should be embarrassed as hell. They don't the know. Memes are, the memes are just incredible. Wait, three, why? Three. Why? Three? Three. Oh, okay, so Be we're proud going, of your mighty three. We're going to the desert on a horse with no name. One. Oh, oh, beautiful, beautiful really? one. 
Yes, really? the platypus saved and us. From Arrow. The red platypus. <laughs> Arrow sinks but team. I learned a lot today. Thank you. <laughs> Vote Murderer Schnurd to replace McCarthy for Speaker. I believe it's four. Four, yeah. Mm -hmm. You get oh, the wrong wait. box. Yeah. Yes, you did. I did. All right. Okay. So, real close between you two, Commander relocated from Washington to a safe location with Ninja Cat. I believe it's five. Is that right, Carl? I thought we had six. Five. Go with five. Next team needs two. Come on, two. <laughs> <laughs> I like Carl's better. Turning Let's go the six. base up too high blows out your speaker. Did you score us having one correct? I said five. Adrian? I did not. I did. Okay. What did you what did you so put down? Six. What did you six. put down for one? I put down the X and Y are reversed and basically, as in birds. Basically that the, 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 the you have the two identical chromosomes for a male in the one and two identical chromosomes in the female for the other. Yeah, it's reversed uh, at, from what is for humans or for for mammals. Anyway, so we're going oh, on it. to GOP right. lesson, turning the base up too high blows out your speaker, which is an excellent name. I, I was admiring that. Yeah, it's wonderful. Um, I think we have five unless unless you think oh. our answer was I adequate by six. nine. Six. Did, did you yeah. think our think I thought that, nine was good. You thought right, you guys, good. come on now, you should be able oh, to do okay. this. We got, the, we got the two sexes, and he said if he got the two two different sexes, did you Yeah, that, that was good enough. Yeah, well, we had that. So yeah. six, I guess. That's yeah. where oh, we gosh, it's not that hard. We you. only got one. <laughs> Your average is four, so that's that's better than that's better than. That's, uh, that's the worst round in a long time. Of look at that. Gail we learned a lot. An apple on top of. I don't know. We got a three on one game. Okay. That's well, not a. It? It's not a pension duty. Not <laughs> a pension. You know what? I'm I'm falling asleep. I had fun tonight. Thank you very oh, much. Oh, we're losing Wendy. Hi, oh, Wendy. Wendy. Good to see you. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Wendy. Nice seeing you. Hi, Wendy. See you soon, Wendy. The next See round you will soon. be Things Wendy Knows. <laughs> people named Wendy. We've already done people named Wendy. Yeah, we did that last week. You missed that one. Oh, um, <laughs> okay. So, Bill, you are up. You do know your... Oh, yeah, you do know. Did you send it to somebody? Yay, no, Romero. No. Thanks, Romero. All right. Um, you got this? What's the plan? I think I've got this. All right. I, I've got all my fingers crossed. All of them? <laughs> How are you going to type? <laughs> Makes it difficult to type, yes. <laughs> uh, so anyway, uh, people know here that I am currently a volunteer docent at the Railroad Museum in Sacramento. But before that, I spent 30 years as a volunteer guide at the Monterey Bay Aquarium. Oh, I didn't know oh. that. Oh. I was there. I didn't know that. I've been there a few That's times. It's a long commute, Bill. It was, a, well, I lived in Mountain View at the time. So it was That's a, still a long commute. It was an hour, and, half, hour and a half commute each way. I did not know you were, wow, how come I didn't know this? I don't know. I, I, I knew about the train museum, but I didn't yeah. know you were at Monterey Bay Aquarium. <laughs> For other people who are not paying attention, <laughs> I've been there a thousand times, but I probably won't know any of these <laughs> if it's about the aquarium. He takes everybody there. Yeah. Okay. What is that? So anyway, uh, during that time that I was there, lots of interesting critters and plants and animals and things were brought in and put on an exhibit. And so I uh, have selected 10 of such uh, exhibit animals and plants and found their scientific names. Oh, no. Lord. Oh, and uh, so I will give you the scientific name, and then I will give you a list of 20 common names, and your uh, task is to match the common name to the scientific name. I thought we were going to do Monterey Bay Aquarium. It opened in 1982. 84? <laughs> 84. 84. 84. 84. Uh, Two weeks from tomorrow is its uh, 
uh, 39th anniversary. And you know what? I know that because it was my anniversary. I got married. Ah. So I have my one year anniversary. Yeah, I remember it. Yeah. So anyway, this is wow, 39 years. That's insane. Yeah. So uh, here's the first fun. one. Carcharodon carcarius. Okay. So what are you calling this category, Bill? So I can write that down. This category is Monterey Bay Aquarium Critters. Okay. Okay. Do you want to put them in two or three at a time? I think you are you able to do that. I don't know if I can. Do, I'll try that. I like the way he's putting them in one at a time. Okay, one at a time. Go for it. Yay, Bill. Okay. Number two is Anhydra lutris nereus. Number three is Ascrictius robustus. Number four. Is Macrocystis pyripera number five? Which, if you know your Latin, you know that Megaterra novi angliae means giant winged New Englander. I don't remember that being at the aquarium, so that's interesting. Do you? I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Is that Kevin? Okay. Uh, some of these critters uh, were not on exhibit at the aquarium, but could be and were seen from the deck. So number six is Mola Mola. Mola is Latin for millstone. Number seven, Pycnopodia helianthoides. I love, I just love saying these words. Number eight, Stereolepsis gigas. Number nine, Thunus orientalis. Come on. And last one, number 10, is Terciops truncatus. And now, the a list of answers. So there you go. The object is to match the scientific name with the common name. Let's see. So there are 10 answers and we have you have uh, 20 choices from which you, to choose. You have 20 choices to uh pick from. So I would suggest everybody share screen on this because it's, it's very hard to do these kind of categories if you can't visualize what's being moved and crossed out. So each breakout room should share screen. Okay? Yeah, yeah. You'll find that much easier. All right, good job. Let's go to our rooms.
Okay, come on. There we go. Got it? Okay. Oh. I, I, I am yeah. so lucky it's Lee and Janine. I can sit back and just watch you guys answer these because I don't. Oh, yeah. Like we know, I like we know any of our Latin. I did, I did copy it over so I could share my screen. If you're comfortable doing that. Um, sure. I think so. So Please let's see. I can find I have so many things open. Oh my gosh. I need number to find one, the right screen. Okay. Number one is some kind of a shark. I know the Doradon, whatever the Latin. Okay, we had a great white shark. You have a oh. leopard shark. You have a. Okay. Those are the two choices of sharks you have there. Filling these old eyes. Okay. Do you know, Lee? Do you know? Um. Do you know what shark is? I just I. Okay, you know where I would start. I would family species. I I know that's what I shark. Shark. Who is took what? Anybody, anybody go to Catholic school? No. <laughs> what? You know where I was starting was was mega. It's giant, right? It's large. So there's how many giant? There's two giants. You're talking about five? Is mega? Yeah. You know I can put a number in. I probably on be good. I might be able to. Mega. So these things would be a mega. Which ones do you know, Susan? I know them all. I just don't want to show off. <laughs> now you're the one that oh, said. Oh, go right ahead. I go to the right I, I don't call ever anything by anything Latin. That's Caspian had to take Latin. He knows some Latin. He, he'd probably be fine with that. But no, I don't know anything. None Where's Caspian? He said they had to go. I mean, I could tell you that uh, the one he did say wasn't, didn't he say there was one of them that had never been in the aquarium, but it was something they could see off of the yeah. shore? Well, I doubt that they had a great whale in the aquarium. <laughs> well, only in Star Trek IV uh, they had a humpback whale. So we had... Um, a gray whale is is one we've not had. A humpback whale we haven't had. Is there a humpback? Um, or is a humpback? Did you have a bluefin tuna? Oh yes, I don't know if we've had a senorita. I've never. I don't even know what that is. A you know, I love star. the I kelp forest. Everything, we everything on here, I think, is something that has been in the aquarium. I've seen many times. I don't know if it's okay. a cobalt blue sponge. There's lots of sponges. Bottlenose dolphin. Have I ever seen a Orion. dolphin? I can't remember if I've ever seen a dolphin. You guys, I'm no help. I really am not. I could tell you where in the aquarium you should go to to see the items. <laughs> I could direct you. You go up the stairs, go to the right. There's an escalator. Go up, over, and that's where the 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 you'll find it. And the giant kelp so, forest. So go to Bill, the left. There's what's our chances? Room. What what will be? What will we get by random selection? Uh, Figure out our odds. I've never seen the senior senior. Senorita, I don't even know what that is. You have seen it, I guarantee it. Oh, well, I don't have a clue. <laughs> I don't know about a sunflower star. That doesn't sound familiar at all. And mm -hmm. I, I see sea otters. I don't know if they're southern or northern or eastern or western. The ones we have, uh, ones on exhibit are southern sea otters. Okay, so I wouldn't, I didn't know. I know I've, I can remember some of their names, I think. I think there was, I mean, I could probably... <laughs> Uh, Rosa just yeah. celebrated her 24th birthday. Rosie, right? No, Rosa. Oh, Rosa. 
Yeah. See, I might be able to remember those, but not. Did what you do you know, think um, about five as being giant kelp? Did you know Deborah's um, ex-husband? He worked at the aquarium for a long time. Did you know that? Uh, who is he? Well, what I don't know Deborah's ex-husband. Warkin? Hmm? Warkin is his last name? I, I, I didn't know very many people by... Oh, you'd have to ask Deborah then. Yeah. But her husband worked there for a long time. Her hmm. ex-husband. He's retired now. I never met him, but. Okay, a clue that I gave when I was reading him out, Megaterra Novi Anglia translates as giant winged New Englander. Giant wind? Winged. And that's oh, number winged. five? Huh? Giant winged. As, okay. as in very large wings. So okay. is that the Pacific bluefin? No, um, I'm looking at, I I'm looking at the mega and associating it with giant, and I was mega, but the P Terra, the Terra. That that's means why wings. it's going kelp, but yeah, no Terra now, means wings. Yeah. Okay, so, so do kelp wings. have wings, or do blue sea bass have wings? There's another critter there that appears to have wings. Not the gray whale. What has wings? What has wings, Susan? You know these things. <laughs> uh, not a sunfish, not a sea star, not an anchovy, not a sardine, not an abalone, not a sea otter, not a, I don't know what that is, a vampire squid, no. A dolphin, no. Sheephead, no. Sponge, no. Sea bass, no. Great whale, no. Shark. Giants, black sea bass, giant kelp. Okay, cobalt blue sponge. What does. Oh, how about a humpback whale, just for simply the size of their fins that almost is wing like? Okay. I'm good with that. Wings. So I'm going to have to put it at the end. Well, okay, let's see. Actually, you want to take it out. Okay, now we have... Oh, that did something weird. That's going to renumber them. I yeah. knew it would. Ah! You might want to use an Excel or a Google Doc sheet. Yeah, I'd rather use something other than Word, but I have it in Word. It's I'm going to do something different. Okay. Um, maybe I Lee, won't. I'll, I'll watch Lee leave the H off. Well, just, yeah, click the back arrow and yeah, read let's, what it was. Good idea. Oh, just because I screw there. up so often. And I'm now, just, and now type it in. And take but, out. The, just go up there and type H after it. Okay, but I can't. Or the five, maybe you can put it on the five side. Like on the other side of the number. What did we say H was? Humpback H. well. Yeah. H was. A oh, pump. yeah, you'd have to do another back arrow on it because the, uh, well, whatever. Okay. But if we remember it, we're okay. Okay, yeah. I'll know not to do that next time. Okay. okay. Um, um, one, I say let's just go with um, leopard shark. Where? For uh, which? I? Yeah. For which one? For which one? For number, for number one, because that's some kind of shark. Oh, okay. So leopard shark eye. Leopard shark. Yes. Don't I'll, copy paste. I don't think it'll. I, I think it'll. I think as long as I just paste okay no uh, you're living dangerously it's i know eye. word is freaking crazy yeah but so you it's i okay so either remove leopard shark or color it or something there you go good okay um 
stereolepus? Isn't a lepus some kind of, isn't that the vampire squid? Because isn't lepus like a vampire? It's something very large. No, lepus, isn't that like a, isn't lepus. that Latin for vampire? I have no idea, but whatever it is, it's gigas, which is large. So it'll be something really, really big. Are vampire squids large? I don't know anything about sea animals. You were there. I took you. No, oh, come on. I, you, do you think I remember anything? It's all about vampires and everybody else put together. So I'll go for your vampire, vampire squid. squid. Yeah. Okay. The eight. Yeah. Do you guys agree with me? Yeah. Sure. Wow. Oh wow. Because, because they're big. Okay. Sunfish were some of my favorites. Um, I, mean, I like the kelp. all the time. Oh, yeah, that's too peaceful for me. I it's love this. The, so the vampire oh, squid is that an S. S. Okay, a sun, a sun, a sunfish. But then again, we're looking at ten, uh, twenty things, so it might not even be on. The What's mola mola? I would assume it's oh, something that's twice. Well, it sounds like something very Polynesian, you know, like in Hawaii, they would always have. Well, he, he said it was, he said Mola, Mola was, he told us. Yeah. Yeah, he um, said it was like flat stone, grinding stone, and I'm yeah maybe like a big sunfish. I don't know. They're big and flat. They and are. I've never stone. seen the Latin name for sunfish, even though I really adore the sunfishes. Ocean sunfish? Yeah, that's what I'm going to guess. Jay. If you've ever seen one, they're just, they're really, well, they're, they're flat. Yeah, they're big, flat, but they are swimming vertically and they don't have much of a tail, but they've got these huge, I don't know what you call it, like a dorsal fin. It's, uh, I, My mouse is really bad, so I don't scroll very well. <laughs> no. okay. okay. I was having trouble with mine, and I finally I took a mouse from another computer, and there were a couple of couple of times where I was trying to put mine together, and I went out and bought a new mouse, and it just made all the difference in the world. You know what? Yeah, I remember you telling us that that you were having struggling with it, and then. I was I was at a hotel, I think for one of Mark's medical appointments, and I was trying to do trivia or I was trying to do something and I just was struggling. And you're absolutely right. I went down and bought a new mouse. All of a sudden it was perfect. But boy, was it like what's, it's like you don't even realize it. you're like something's wrong here. No. Macro systems. Number, number two, lutus, I'm thinking is like lupus, which is a dog. So is our dog? Well, what I'm thinking is a sea otter. Didn't we have a sea otter down there somewhere? Yeah, southern yeah. sea otter. Sea otter, Q. For two. I don't know how to spell southern. They don't worry about it. You're talking about the guy that always. So number said, nine is is that oriel orient or something to 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 notice an oral oralis? So you know that's what I was going to say something Asian. Yeah, uh, an anchovy, Pacific anchovy, or a, or which one? I'm I'm wondering about number nine, tanana tanus orientalis. What sounds well the specific so it could be a sardine or well an anchovy the the Pacific or it could be something like a abalone red abalone yeah or you got to remember one um, God the Swedish uh, his name. Lenny, I don't know, the guy that, that set up 
the whole tax money was Swedish. So if he was calling it Orientus, so it would have been some species. Like from India? Somebody brought back from the, you know, from Asia. Uh, I don't know. Well, cobalt, cobalt blue sponge, maybe something weird. Oh, that, uh, Number three is robustus. Would that be like rapid or large or yeah, um, very round, round. robust? What would you describe that as? Round? How about abalone for the uh, Orientus number nine? Okay. That would be, I don't know. The, Go for it, Janine. Because that would have been something that would have been pretty strange to see. Oh, shit, you guys, quick. Not give us any time, buddy. Well, I need to be able to type. It won't let me type. You got to close the close the breakout room. No, because then it'll send me window, away. The window open. Let's see. What is that? Red abalone? Yeah, I red abalone. Have, that's my guess. I... Okay, come on, uh, Lee, while she's typing. We got to pick these others. Uh, so how about three something robust. round robust how about um how about uh robust. the how about a bluefin tuna the tunas are really fast swimmers robust. okay there you go m for three yeah for three three is Okay, so let's do three is what? Bluefin tuna? Yeah. Pacific yeah. bluefin tuna. M M Mary, yeah. So macrocystis priophyra. Um so macro is large. So could be giant kelp. Yeah, yeah. you're looking for yeah. Emma. Yeah. Okay. I'll go Which for one that. is giant quelp? Giant okay, kelp. Take out M. Yeah. Okay. Now four, four is four giant quelp. Kelp. E. Huh? E. Easy. E is an extra. Okay. So I. Alien drones. Um, oh, shoot. So oh. just pick. Okay. Do um, seven. Can be sardine and or and then like turp turp pick anything Janine pick okay. anything Janine just I will do it and you'll just have to tell us if it's right or not that was hard <laughs> they made by our record for the largest the latest we've ever been it's already after ten and we haven't even done the last it's round already, yet. it's yeah. already after one it's okay, after noontime. time. We're, we're catching up to Jamie now. <laughs> yeah, I'll stop my clock. Okay, go for it. You put something in, Janine? Yep. Okay, all right, Bill. Bill, if you're talking, you're muted. I am. I was. Okay. I have never done this before. How do I present? Or... You can just go one answer. and then give us the letter. Just give us the letter. It'll be okay. for like so, one letter. Be, uh, I was, I was, I've got a, uh, a PowerPoint that I was going to uh, display. I've never done that. So you were sure you just share the screen no letters it's after 10 already we still have another round to go oh dear How, okay share screen yeah. find it? Yep. Oh, there it is. Okay. 
Okay. Do we? Yep, we're good. Oh. Yeah, we're good. Work. All right. One, Carcaridon Carcarius is our great white shark. Nice. And Hydra Lutris, uh, sea otter. And Hydra oh, in water. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. A, a Scrictius oh. robustus is the gray whale. Is the what? The gray it's whale. The gray okay. Gonna stuck to it. Macrocystis pyrifera. Macrocystis means big. Uh, you know, big a, a big, a big cyst. Pyrifera <laughs> means that it's cone shaped. Oh. Giant mm. cone. Megaterra novi angliae. See oh. the huge wings. Humpback whale. Mola oh. Mola is the ocean. Way to go, Jay. Oh. Get that backwards. Hey, hey Bill. Bill. Yeah. What? Bill, were you there when oh. they took the Mola Mola out from the out through the roof? Yes, I was. <laughs> that was definitely exciting. Especially <laughs> when I was listening to a conversation where the helicopter pilot said that the Mola Mola weighed about a hundred pounds more than he was qualified. <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> okay so number seven the pycnopodia helianthoides um, okay the uh helia sunflower so yay brandy okay stereolepis gigas is the giant black sea bass uh, nine uh, thunus orientalis Pacific blue okay. fin tuna. I think I won. And Terciops truncatus. Oh. All right. Okay. So I, I missed uh, number three and four. Sorry. What were they again? Three was a gray whale. Oh, yeah. okay. And four. And four is the, te oh, is the kelp. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah, we missed the kelp by one. All right. It's not okay. a dream. No, it wasn't me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can put that on if you want. <laughs> Thank you. No, we wouldn't want to ruin that beautiful mic we're showing you on there. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. So let's see. Um, I remember when they took the sunfish out, but I don't remember them taking it out, but I remember the drama of it because it kept bumping into the glass and it was too heavy and he had to come out. Mm. But I didn't the know sunfish? Yeah. 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 Uh, it it grew a lot more than they thought it was going to wow. grow, I think. Well, yeah, that sunfish, when they released it, was over 600 pounds. Yeah, they should have oh. they should have gotten that out of there way earlier, but you yeah. didn't realize sunfish could get that no, big. I take, take it back. It was over 800 pounds. Well, yeah, it was it because, was you know, it's in a place where it's, you know, fed its meals and yeah. you know, all that kind of stuff. It's not like a no, predators. Probably was a lot of exercise. The... All right, so we are at. Uh, we're going to the desert on a horse. Yeah, we had eight. Woo! Oh my Woo god! Brand new people there. All right, McCarthy is replaced with Alexa. She's a speaker who can run the house. As well, known. three. Wah, wah. Okay, vote Mortimer <laughs> Schnur to replace McCarthy for speaker. Yeah, seven, seven. Yep. I want Please. to see that on the sign. Vote Mortimer Schnurd. Um, gosh, this could be a really interesting week coming up, you guys. Uh, Commander relocated from Washington to safe location with Ninja Cat. Nine. Oh, well oh you're your Latin. GOP left. Not really, the but we... too high <laughs> blows out your speaker. Five. That was our team. We did okay. Yeah. <laughs> did we get anything at the last minute? Janine, were any of those right that you just guessed at the last minute? I can't remember which ones I got <laughs> at the last minute. <laughs> I was going too fast. Uh, I, I am I am very impressed. I was not expecting more than a couple of you uh, getting more than uh, five points. So. And we scored 6.4, so there. We did better than you think. Some people had Latin in school, I guess. Well, anyway, that was different. It was good. It was definitely nothing we've done before. Yeah. Very good. And I got to remember the aquarium and haven't been there in a year. 
<laughs> That's time Carl. to go back. Yes. You're up. You ready? Yeah. Uh, as ever. I'm always All right. ready. This round will be a real blast. Oh, no. Uh, it's going to be about TNT. In 10 more. current or past nuclear states, that is, countries with their own nuclear weapons, whether declared or generally understood, does not include states that have had weapon sharing agreements in place with nuclear powers. To be on this list, the country has to have full control of the nuclear weapons. Nuclear weapons. Nuclear, oh, no, nuclear. There are nuclear weapons declared energy. Does weapons. this include former Soviet states that inherited nuclear weapons when they left? This includes any state that had full control over the weapons and the ability to use them and the codes to operate them. As of current. current or past. Past. Ooh. If they have the code to use the weapon. Oh, is this current? All right, so current that's confusing. Or Cur current or past. So what if it's the same place, but they change governments in a different name? Is that uh, two answers? If the country changed names, it's the successor to that country, and it's only on the list once. Okay. All right. Finish your room. Oh, current or past? Okay. Both. Okay. Current. Both. Oh. Okay. <sighs> Hi, Dean. Hi, Susan. Oh, here comes Adrian. Adrian. This is another category Caspian would have loved. He shouldn't have loved yes, it. Yes, if he were here, we'd we'd be done already. Yeah, we'd be done already. <laughs> Okay, so obviously United States. Yes. I'm writing down. You're on mute, Adrian. I'll write them down. So I've got United States, India, Russia, Russia, China. China. What was that? China. Oh, China. Yes. Yeah. Do they well, have you have rules? North Korea. No, they don't have. They don't have. Yeah. Well, they claim to. And they did testing. Did, did you say France, Susan? Huh. Okay. Britain, um, UK, or you, you, the England, or whatever you want to say it. Right. They have nuclear power. Canada? No. No <laughs> nuclear weapons, huh? Not as far as I know. <laughs> that's your back. Okay, that's, that's just why. it, isn't it? <laughs> They got a moose and a squirrel. There you go. Kevin. <laughs> moose and squirrel. <laughs> and a oh, I lost my milk diet. I'm going to have to go buy some more. Okay. Um, does Germany Susan, have their own? you see my picture there? That's, uh, yeah, that's more than Oh, on the right. wow. He's ugly. And then that's McCartney on the left and Edgar Bergen or Bergen yeah, or whatever. That makes sense. Yeah. What about that's some of those ex Soviet, like uh, the Ukraine? They don't have nuclear weapons. Turkey, or some of the Middle East countries. Do any of the Does Iran East? or oh, uh, Israel? Does Israel? I don't think, I think so. so. I think they Rock do. They've been given to them by the U.S. I don't know if they have the codes. But... Oh, they don't. I don't think they have. Them. You don't think Israel? Okay. Oh. Okay. So we're taking it off. I took it off. Okay. But I think I'm Israel go. has them. Well, right now I have seven written down, so we may have to put them on the list. Well, that's right. Exactly. <laughs> Japan? Japan? Oh, I don't know. I think, I wonder. I think there's laws now uh, that there was laws from the Second World War. They've got I think they're power. not They've allowed to. They've got nuclear to. power plants. They have nuclear power plants, but I don't know if they, there's, I think they may have some kind of thing against them. I don't know. Wait, sure. didn't they have a big meltdown there in Japan? Yeah, but that was a nuclear power plant. That's a power plant. Oh, yeah. That's from the earthquake. Because right, right, what right. we're supposed to be doing is weapons, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like they could. Yeah. Um, you said so what I've got. What I've got so far is India, United States, Russia, North Korea, China, France, UK or Britain, and Germany. Oh, I didn't write down Germany. Not Italy, right? No, I don't think so. Or Spain. Or we need you, Carl. Or yeah. Caspian. <laughs> um 
I think we've got quite a few of them, but how many you got? Seven. We've got eight. Let me think. And we have two reserved ones that we could add if we're not, you know, if we Nothing can't get in any Africa, more. right? Nothing in Africa has it. Don't think so. Nothing in the Middle East, right? I mean, other than my thoughts powered. about Israel. I, we have Iran, right? <laughs> We I did didn't put Iran down, in. Iran. I, I was asking if you think Iran does or not. Well, isn't that the whole like debate? They're trying to keep them from, they're building them and they're, they're trying to right, keep them. Right, because we are trying, We don't we tell them that they can't have them? Mm -hmm. They have them, right? And then they broke yeah. off the agreement because of Trump. How about so Pakistan? Did, did they build them? That's a good question. But did, who did you say, Susan? Pakistan. 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 That would be scary if they had them. Well, they have to have a balance, so they might. So it's not Australia doesn't have any, right? I don't think so. But I don't. They know. have nuclear submarines. Mm -hmm. As Nobody Canada has does. Nuclear anything? There's no nuclear. Yes, there are. There's nuclear. There's no nuclear. There's, nuclear. there's yes, nuclear. There are. There are nuclear submarines because no we nuclear. had. Yes, there are. <laughs> Carl, do I understand Washington? It's the same as Washington. There's no yeah. Washington. I'm sorry, but there are nuclear power, uh, nuclear submarines because we just gave them. Are they from uh, Washington? And they, they, or they, Washington? they uncovered that the, the Australia was getting a, some nuclear pl uh, plans for the submarines. So, so here's yeah. a question. Do they automatically have nuclear weapons in nuclear submarines? Because if that's the powered case. by nuclear. Because we oh, we have awesome. nuclear submarines, but I I've weapons. never heard of us having nuclear weapons. I've never really. I would love about to partake it. in this conversation very badly. I could <laughs> go away, Carl. You. You're making me nervous. So, <laughs> shoo shoo, go play with somebody else. Well, so nuclear nuclear submarines and nuclear power does not equal. How do you spell nuclear? Weapons. I don't know. Do you not know how to spell it? It's where yes, no, it's the way you're you're saying it. Do you know, do you know what he's using a different word than we're using? You're so wasting that's our time, word. dude. You're wasting our time. Go away. Do you know who else says nuclear sometimes? George it's W. Bush. Bush. Yeah. Yeah. Well, not only that, Richard Saunders too. Oh, really? <laughs> I do not. I can't see what you guys are saying is any different from what I'm saying. So I don't. I can't hear nuke, it at all. Nuclear. What about instead it? of nuke Euler? <laughs> right. No. 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 Nuclear. Nuclear. Yes, thank you. Who would want to say nuclear? Everybody nuclear. else in the world. Want to uh, nuclear. It's not nuclear. Yes, it is. Nuclear. No. <laughs> nice. You're making me laugh. I can't hear it. Also, go away. Go, go, away. go away. Go away. We're gonna go. We gotta get these countries. Right. Okay, we need one more, right? Two. Okay. I can't. Well, wait. I, I, I have nine. I have nine, Adrian. So I wrote a whole bunch of those things down that we talked about, but I didn't write any of them into the con because Japan, Israel, Iran, Pakistan, Canada, Australia, I wrote down. Okay. Not oh, Australia. I didn't not write down Japan or Israel. So, okay. I don't think Israel has them. We could put North Korea because they say they do. Support. Well, North Korea, I'm pretty sure even has them, but. They, well, they do say they, they do. They say they have them yeah. and they yeah. te they tested them supposedly. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. we can't think of anything else we could put that. How much so is that no we're putting our yeah, I think North Korea is nine good. with North Korea? No, I've got eight. Which one do you have, Jane, that you put down after uh, Germany? Uh Pakistan. Yeah, I'm not sure if I like that. That's too scary. <laughs> they would have used it already. I no, I think yeah. they have them because that's part of the, the balance there with India. Oh, that could be. Could yeah, because I think you may be right with that. Because that? I, think, I think that India got them after. I think you're right. I or think the other way the around. Yeah. yeah, I think yeah. they have them. I think you're right. Yep. God, uh, these one are more. I don't think about anymore. Oh, either. we've got one more that we have to put down. We have. Warning. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, South America, anything in South America? No, right? I don't mm -hmm. think so. Um, anything, Cuba, of course. Oh <laughs> no, they don't. No. They took them out, didn't they? Yeah, they had to. They, took they them never out. really got them. Yeah. Um, Switzerland. No, sorry. No. 
those war the Vatican, the Vatican, the Vatican, <laughs> Vatican City. So you don't think Italy, right? I don't mm -hmm. think so. What is our what's we got? You know, seconds. I think Israel it would be more likely to have them than you know of the of the places that we've come up with. What what what's what are what is on our our like Japan was another list. one we discussed. Japan we also talked Iran. about Turkey. Yeah, we talked about Turkey too. I think Israel would have them beyond before Turkey, but I don't even think Israel has them. I think I think that Israel would have them before Turkey would or okay. If we don't think of something else, put put Israel. Israel you know, and Egypt doesn't have it. No, I, I don't think so. so. So nothing in Africa. Only Japan is what I was thinking of maybe the only, thing about japan, it, the only thing about japan is what you were saying about them not being allowed to have them yeah because like, they, they can't have a standing military like you know with so put put what is it we're going to put israel? israel over okay. japan i don't know you guys caspian I'm, I'm just channeling caspian right now so i don't know it's so strange i've never even thought about this yeah i know isn't that crazy? Yeah, very. I saw some stuff like similar kinds that of things. That was weird. So Carl, are you here? Yeah. Carl, where are you? He's facing right forward. Oh, he's looking at totally different. How many are there? Because you didn't say that, so I'm curious. Um, ten. There are ten. <laughs> so that's it. So okay. so there there is there's going to be some questions and some pushback, but I did extensive research on this, and I will address questions as they come up. Excellent. First, I will go with the declared states, states that are currently have weapons and openly declare them, so there's no debate whatsoever, of the United States, Russia, the United Kingdom, France, India, Pakistan, and North Korea. Oh, Pakistan, that's right. Pakistan. Pakistan. Okay. And anyway, North Korea. Did you, did you, did, North Korea. I, I didn't hear you read China. China, did I miss France. That? Yeah. China, yeah, China. China's on there. Yeah. yeah. How many's on there? One, two, three, so, four, so, five. So, six, now we move seven, to the undeclared eight. Israel. Pretty much everyone in the planet acknowledges <laughs> that Israel has nuclear weapons, even though they have they have not officially declared that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we uh, could. Now we will move to the one that probably nobody got. A state who used to have oh, 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 no we had that took it off. Africa. And we, it is generally believed that. that South Africa worked with Israel to help yeah. Israel develop their atomic weapons and that Israel's atomic weapon was essentially tested in the South African nuclear test in the Pacific. Damn, and we told that Rob story. Rob guessed said, that. Yeah, Rob yeah. Rob had oh, that. So Did you talk yourself out of it? Yes. And no, there are there are former Soviet republics such as Ukraine and Belarus that in Kazakhstan that inherited a bunch of yeah. nuclear weapons when the Soviet Union broke up, but they, as best as my research has been able to show, Didn't they never the had the codes to be right, able right. to use the weapons. Right. And there were nuclear weapons in Cuba, and but the, there are certainly the Soviets in, did not uh, give the Cuba Belarus the codes. currently, as an ally, has Russian nuclear weapons stationed there, but again, it is believed mm -hmm. they do not have the codes right. to be able to use those weapons oh. on their own. And there are also many NATO partners that have nuclear weapon sharing agreements with the U.S. and the U.K., right. but they don't have the codes to use the weapons right, right, on their own without cooperation from the U.S. Right. So to my team, what, which one did we put that was wrong? Because we didn't put Germany. That Germany doesn't have it. And I was thinking it probably doesn't, but Germany, I know there's U.S. bases there. Germany, Germany, Germany does have them. It hosts them. Like Belgium, Italy, Turkey, the Netherlands. Yeah, they host them. But they don't have their own. Oh, I yeah, would have right. thought Germany they, over. They, they don't have control over the weapons yeah. to use them as they see fit without the United States giving them the codes. I, I had a feeling about Pakistan, you guys, because there's there, they have to have some. So there was a documentary on over 25 years ago, and, I, and this chilled me to the bone. They were interviewing the military leadership of Pakistan and the military leadership of India. Mm -hmm. And and the Indians say, well, you know, we're because they were both nuclear armed. Mm -hmm. And and you know, they're always having disputes over this territory in the middle. And the Indian, you know, uh, the Indian um officials in the military said, well, we, you know, we don't think it'll ever come to that. There's no reason we should ever have a nuclear war. And then you go to the Pakistan guys <laughs> and they go, 
Well, if, if there's a war, you know, we destroy the only uh, Hindu country, but there's tons of uh, Islamic country, so we win. That was chilling. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh -huh. Wow. So mm. this video that we just shared, this is how I knew most of the countries because he actually goes off and lists all of them. Uh, <laughs> and it's very, it's very funny if you watch till the end. It's and they joke about California becoming its own country to hang out with Australia with the kangaroos during nuclear <laughs> war. It's, it's really funny. California could be its own country. I'm telling you, Gavin Newsom is going to be president. <laughs> this came out like in 2000. What? Yeah, Gavin Newsom, not this year, but he's going to be president oh, in 2028. Okay. I bet you anything. Unless something, if things all remain the same. So this, is, this is just AOC like I could myself. No, she's no way. Not if all. California should divide itself into three different states so you get, quite, get more people in Congress, especially senators. Mm -hmm. The idea that California has two senators is obscene. Yeah. It's freaking mm. stupid. Scores. 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 It's almost Scores. Saturday for Jamie. Scores. All right, you guys. All right, you guys. Here we go. So I'm very curious. I, I, I think we did way better than I would have thought. Okay. McCarthy's replaced with Alexa. She's a speaker who can run the house. Seven. So did we get eight? No, we had three wrong. France wasn't one of them. Yeah, France we, was one. No, of France was one. France, 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 France. France. Oh, okay. We had eight. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. Oh, cat. yeah, they are. We're going to the desert on a horse with no name. I think we also had eight. Hey. Vote Mortimer Schnurd to replace McCarthy for speaker. Almost nine. ten, but we did nine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Well done. Which one did you miss, South Africa? Yeah, we, he knew it. I knew it, okay. and then we talked ourselves out of it for something. What did you put oh, in his wow. place? Well, Turkey. we were. We, I was considering that maybe Turkey had weapons in the mm. earlier part of uh, you know the NATO, and then they were pulled out or something. But no. And we all agreed. Yeah, GOP lesson: turning the base up too high blows out your speaker. It's so funny. Nine. Nine. Who thought of that, you guys? Your it's... name. Great name. It's been going. It's been going around. Uh, it's not original. Oh, okay. I hadn't heard. It's, it's been before. going around Facebook for the past couple of days. You guys teach yeah. me so much. Pretty you know? funny. Yeah. Okay, so commander relocated from Washington to a safe location with Ninja Cat. We had nine, right? <laughs> hey, we had nine. So Carl, we did okay. Hey. We did damn good without you, Carl. <laughs> yeah. Aw. <laughs> there you go. Everybody, oh, sorry. next week, next week's categories. I'm, oh I'm my so gosh, proud you that got Rob it. got close to South Africa. I completely forgot, Karen. And half half the people are gone already. Not good. That's okay. So, can we, should we just have, well, Jamie's got his place in here, or should we just have yes. one person do them all? Kevin, are you awake? Kevin. I could do uh, any round next week if you need me to. Okay, Carl. Well, I, have a, I have a bonus ready, Susan. Okay, bonus for Gail. I said I, I would do it if people it. sent me if people sent me topics. Oh come on! Anybody? Well, I you I can't, can't help but not me. having topics. If if five people who are going to be there send me a topic, I'll do one, and then we'll put them all on a different team. No, no, okay. no, no, no. I want you to do it. Just keep do it. doing it the way we are. I don't want to think about it. Okay, uh, two more. Well, I have Jamie, right. I have Carl, and I have Gail doing a bonus. I have one ready. Okay. Anybody else? I have book club, but I could do one later if you really wanted me no, to. Oh, I don't want to make you force you to do it. You got to get Sally Winchester done. I do. Thank you. Jeez. Cat, cat. Learn to cat. say no, Adrian, once in a while. Is your presentation mm -hmm. all finished? Shh, shh. Yes. She's is that, yeah, essentially it's done. Okay, I need okay. one more. Okay, so put me down, Susan. All Yay! right. Luan, Luan. Yes. Adrian, if you want to practice it, and I can practice mine with you. Everybody sure, that sounds good. But we do okay, that. I've got it. I've got it for next week. Okay. I'm so excited. We are really getting there. Okay, Ron, Jamie, of... Carl, Rob, and Gail. It's all questions about Luann, but they're all in Latin. <laughs> <laughs> Big Latin, oh, maybe. All right. Good night, Oh, Cindy, you're nice kitty cat. cat. Yeah. Great job, good night, everybody. everybody. You guys did great. There yeah, was a lot good. of really Say different Say goodnight, Katniss. We're going. Good night, everybody. Bye, guys. Bye, Thanks, everybody. Bye.